Okay, then. We're doing it. We're switching to the live. Hello, Miss Zombie. Over on Twitch. Hi. Good to see you. How are you? Like no one ever was. You. Okay, then. It's. We're doing oh, it. No. We're switching to the live. Hello, Miss Zombie. Over on Twitch. Hi. Uh, yes, it is. Sorry, I was hearing myself twice, and I'm sure other people were too. Um, yes, it's the best. It's the best theme song, and I had it on CD as a child, and that's all that matters. <clears throat> I think probably whichever one I had, it was the one that like the CD itself looked like a Pokemon. That's all I remember. <laughs> That's all I remember. <laughs> oh my god, I didn't... Of course. Of course. No, no, no. That's... I, I cried during it. I remember. <clears throat> and then Pikachu dies. Here's a fun, embarrassing story for you before we get started. But, well, first we'll start. Hello. Hello, Miss Zombie. I'm good. Thank you. Hello, friends. My name is Max. Or Maxton, actually, is my full name. What's happening? Hello, my name is Maxton. Uh, I am with my wife. We are Backseat Gaming, but today I am Backseat Gaming. Backseat Gaming with my good friend, Renee, a.k.a. the Cake Crusader. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm just like, yeah, so uh, what do you think of this? Do you like this? And that's because, yeah, it's because you don't get to watch. Why is it not letting me share my screen, though? Discord. Discord, why are you being such a, why are you being such a butt, Discord? Uh, what if I dis what if I disable streamer mode? Wow. Anyway, um, while while I figure out why everything is always collapsing around me, um, so this is the Brew Crew Gaming. We are uh, we are both Twitch streamers, and uh, we are of course streaming to uh our two our our channel our wonderful dungeons and dragons channel also miss zombie what the frick miss zombie and twitch is saying that they can't hear you so now yeah everything is just wrong right now uh yeah okay hold on so whoever everybody who's here hello welcome i'm sorry this is uh this is now the technical difficulty stream like always <sighs> thanks andy might might have to change settings in Discord. Yeah, that's what you would think, wouldn't it? Isn't that what you think? Uh, oh wait. Okay. Well, so step. <clears throat> I think I must have. I think I might have screwed it up. By I think I screwed it up. I think I screwed okay. it up. I think I know what I did wrong. So can you say a few words? A few words. Yeah, okay. So now I see that you're coming through. 
Good lord. Thank you, Miss Zombie, and also Andy over on YouTube. Um, Miss Zombie, how how are you doing? We're, I'm doing so well. I'm trying to do this dual streaming thing, as always, and I've done it multiple times, and I still can't seem to get it right. So it's great. It's always great. Okay, so, okay, there I am. Brother, brother, mm -hmm. there you go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there. that's, I'm glad that's you all saved you missed. It. And just that's so really knows, all you missed. She yeah. did sing that earlier, and then she's doing it. We're bringing it back. So mm -hmm. We're bringing it back. My, let me get my thing up. Okay, so well, let's do intros again then, because okay. things are terrible always. Anyway, hello. My name is Maxton. With my hello. Wife, with my wife, Danny, who is not here, we are Backseat Gaming, except today I am just Backseat Gaming, and I'm Backseat Gaming with my good friend, Renee, a.k.a. the Cake Crusader. Hello! Mm -hmm, I'm mm -hmm. doing that thing again where my camera's not on, but I'm still well, like, hey guys, like I'm I waving. Heard, yeah. I actually heard the physical wave that time. You in, heard in the whoosh. Voice. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. I heard uh, it. Yeah. We need to, I, I think I might do my camera on next time because I do have a beautiful um, Mimikyu like hooded cloak kind of costume situation that I do kind of just want to wear for all of these streams moving forward. I, I think the people would, that's what the people want personally. Um, so anyway, we are we are Dungeons and Dragons players with the Homebrew mm -hmm. Network, which is mm -hmm. a wonderful network of Dungeons and Dragons and TTRP RPG shows um, and podcasts. And we are cast members in a wonderful show called The World Weavers, which uh, streams over on YouTube on the Homebrew Gaming YouTube channel. Um, hmm. where we, we play every Monday and we play some Dungeons and Dragons and we get up to horrible shenanigans and ridiculousness and have good times. I was about to say, we haven't gotten into anything too, too terrible, but yeah, but that's a lie. That's absolutely not true. Yeah, no, no. It's all, it's all hmm. been, it's all been, we've had yeah, trauma. We... We've had laughs. Like any good D&D campaign. You know, we've had it all. I uh, did joke, um, I was trying to explain to a coworker of mine who has never played D&D uh, &D before, like, what D&D &D was, and my best uh, explanation was that it's consensual trauma bonding uh, with your friends. Yeah. Yeah, it yes. can be. There can be a lot of trauma. <laughs> there can be a lot of trauma, but there could also be a lot of laughs. I mean, yeah. Sometimes That's a coping mechanism. It's fine. We occasionally laugh. And have occasionally have we fun. cry <laughs> um no, i went but back it's... and rewatched that first origin and all of us like at that one point just everybody there was not a dry eye at the proverbial table i think everybody yeah. was like oh we like uh we we it's we've gotten up to some stuff but it's okay we're all good we uh we're having so much fun and we we are just about to end our holiday break and come back so if you're free mm -hmm. on monday at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time or 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time or any time in between or around, yeah. you should come and watch and then like and subscribe and ring the bell. Because that's all great ding, ding. and it's all fun and we like to have fun. Um, okay, so we're about to get started. I'm Discord has been giving me nothing but issues, so it's it's just taking forever to share my screen. Okay. Once like I, I said, do, if you want to, like, if you want to just describe what's going on, okay. I can, like, theater so of the mind. There's a boy, all right? There's a boy. Mm. He has a hat. He has a bag. Uh, he has no yes. dad. Never no dad. Any dad. There's never a dad no anywhere dad. in sight. And No dads, only is, Mr. Mime. He is given a small, violent monster that he is then, so, he then brings around the world by himself. Okay. So it's a eight. young boy traveling alone with like a feral chihuahua that he got from the rescue shelter. Yeah, it's yeah, or like it's like giving your child some sort of aggressive, intelligent gun and being like, "All right, hmm. son, come back Aren't when you've killed 150 <sighs> other monsters." Aren't I? Am, okay, I might be making this up because there's just so many of these darn things running around all over the place. Is so there many. Pokemon that look like gun? Because there are Pokemon that look like sword. God, are I, there are there gun Pokemon? Isn't there a shark Pokemon that kind of looks like? Gun? There's a torpedo. There is. A That's shark what I'm thinking that of. 
is a torpedo. Torpedo, just big gun. Um, which is if sort I'm being of honest. Big, if you think of a submarine as a gun, a torpedo yeah. is a bullet. So, yeah, that's that's all submarine that is. Submarine, sense. big wet gun. <laughs> Um, so I now like I try to share my working, screen yeah. with you. I hope that's working. The little squares are doing their dance. Oh, Lord. Forever entangled. Good Lord, Discord. Get your shit together. Good Lord, Discord. I think it's been over a minute. I think we can say swears now. Oh God. I I think I Oh shoot. Yeah. It's I think we're in time. I think oh we're good. shoot. Yes. Like for a second, I had a thought. I was like, "Wait, did I swear?" So it's ah. just giving you squares. I might have to restart Discord on stream live for you now. Oh my god, this is crazy. Well, like it's... I said, just theater of the mind it. I, I don't want to. I don't. <laughs> no, no, no. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna interrupt. I could theater of the mind it. Would be funny for <laughs> a minute. But hold on, give me one second, chat. You're all gonna be here to see, but Renee, mm -hmm. I'll be right back. All right, so speedrun strats, restarting Discord. What you're going to want to do, go to the bottom right. You're going to want to right-click, select, quit. I don't want to update Windows technology, I swear. Um, then you go back into the channel. There's only 100 channels. You join the channel. All right, speedrun strats. Oh, that's working way better. It's going way faster. Go live. Boom. I can see thing. Boom. Boom. Oh, shit. I can see both of the chats, too. Yeah, I got them up there. You can see them now. Got I, see I couldn't all. do it in an easy way that everybody could see, but, you know, I'm able to do it so I can see it at least. Yeah, that's fine. That's, that's, that's fine. That's okay. Fine. So we just got to New Town. Um, I know there's a gym, There's a castle. I think. Um. I so I, I you? now I need to. I do need to say, and I sent you. I sent you Discord message about this earlier, but I don't know if you saw it. I did some research on the internets because it's been a million years since I've played this game. Uh, the gym leader in this town, his name is Grant. Well, we have so, to destroy him. I know it's. I was also is very proud of my this Grantuary joke. Um. Because I, that's one of my favorite jokes from Rick and Morty is the interdimensional cable with the Jan Michael Vincent car, yes. Uh, commercial. Yes, I it's remember. Like, this January, I don't know why, but it cracks me up every single time that I hear it. And as soon as I saw that it was like gym leader Grant versus Doctor Grant, I was like, this Grantuary. We're so Grant's to... gonna be tickled yeah. to death. We, we've got to destroy Grant. That is the only, that is my only goal. Grant had a rough in. week, man. Like, we did make a stretch We're... goal for our YouTube subscribers that um, Ellen said that if we got to 5,000 uh, YouTube subscribers, she was going to purchase and send to him a haunted doll. <gasps> did we get it? <laughs> No, no, not yet. Oh. But Grant's like, why? Why is this People, happening to me? We have to send Grant haunted doll. I, no, don't send anybody haunted doll. That's a really haunted good... doll. So scary. No, haunted doll is it's, funny. I will say, haunted doll watch is one of my favorite bits on my brother, my brother and me. But if somebody actually sent me a haunted doll, I would set it on fire and make it my personal life mission to find out who sent it oh to me, God. hunt them down in a Liam Neeson style fashion, and then just like kick them in the shins like once. Uh, you've seen <laughs> and the types then walk of away. You say that, but you're you are my brother, my brother and me fan. You have seen the types of haunted dolls that exist on the internet. They're not. They're I know. Nothing to be afraid of. I that they look bad. I mean, especially they look the bad. clown that's... ones. Why are they always clowns? Because that's what sells on eBay uh... when you put up a freaking haunted doll on your dumb eBay page and make people buy it. There can't be that many haunted dolls in the world. There's, there's been a lot of people that have died in the world. 
I bet there's more haunted dolls than you think. And you think you they're think all that... clinging to dolls? You think that's like the where, well, that's no, the that's what I was in? about to say. Like, I want to see the market for like haunted small appliances, where it's like this is if, a blender that was ghosts, owned by if a ghosts scary were real, man. And that was how it would be like. And here's the haunted Xbox. Original oh my Xbox. god! Wait, wait, that was totally a Danny Phantom villain. Of course, it was Danny Phantom. Was, was a, a ghost? It was a ghost who only could like possess small electronic appliances. I don't remember their name, but that it, was definitely a Danny Phantom. It would villain. be that creepy pasta that's like the Link sh oak Shadows of oh, Ocarina that is, of Time. Vi yes, thing that is that, that is super seen. creepy. Yeah, that, that is super I don't creepy. need that to explain because we've all seen it. We all know haunted. We all Ocarina know of time. Mm -hmm. Or no, it was yeah, it was Ocarina of Time. Yeah, yeah. it was Ocarina. Haunted by it's the it's that weird spirit. It's that weird statue that follows you around. Yeah. And exactly. ugh, I hate it. That's what I'm saying. If this stuff was if this was real, if that's how ghosts worked, like haunted doll style, that is it would mm. those would be everywhere. Everybody would I have mean, one. maybe they are. Who who's to say? But oh, also it maybe it's one of those things, oh thanks. You have thanks, super cool body hair. Song. That's thief. No, it's not. That's body slam. Uh, uh what? Yo, you want Whoa. something you want to ask me? Oh, this is the, uh, the guy who invented the boxes by a bunch of mm, punks for some reason. Box boy. All right. Well, here we are. I was we'll, just we'll get... gonna say the only Danny Phantom ghost that I remember by name was the box ghost because <laughs> he was my favorite. The box ghost. <laughs> that was a good show. That show I'm got the canceled box. before its time. Oh my god, I had such a... Just continuing the theme of, like, Ellen and I were just talking about, like, fictional and cartoon characters that we had crushes on in the last stream. Danny Phantom. Mm -hmm. That was it. Laws that was, like, the laws sexual of awakening mercy. for a lot of people is Danny Phantom. No, ma no, not not Shrekual awakening. That would have been Shrek, but I, um... <laughs> the Shrek show. Yeah, thank well, we you. All had a I was awakening. worried. I was worried that that wasn't gonna like carry through with I with like the voice why? chat, and everyone was just gonna be like, "Does she want to fuck an ogre?" I've like, heard the new one is no. good, and people like. There's it. a new Shrek. Yeah, it's puss the Puss in Boots. It's like you know whatever oh, the spin series. Oh, I haven't it's the watched same. it. I haven't watched it yet, but I mean, I would. I want to. We did. I did have a girls' night a couple of months ago where we just got like we got a lot of champagne and then we did drink a bunch of mimosas and then watched the first three Shrek movies. There, it's impossible that those hold up. Do they hold up? <laughs> they do, but I don't know. Like if I were watching them for the first time, I don't know about it. So maybe it's like a nostalgia lens. But Lord. like we were crying, laughing, especially at the first one. It was still so funny. There were so many parts that we were all just kind of like, ha ha. It was great. It was good time. Unbelievable. Yeah, I can't. I mean, like they were like they were good at the time, but I can't believe that they're they're still good. I, I refuse. Do you have you rewatched them? Like, when was the last time that you sat down with a clear and open mind and heart <laughs> I, and rewatched through Shrek? I will never. I've never done that, even when they came out. When they no! were coming out, I'm going to demand <laughs> that we do a movie night and we with do Shrek. watch Shrek. Yes. Great, great, great. great. Or the musical. The Shrek musical is also a gift. The Shrek gift. musical is delightful, yeah. It's so good. It's, I, I'm a big fan. It was delightful. Are we just in some person's I don't, bedroom right yeah, now? Yeah. What's the, I, Are we still honest, wearing roller skates? Somebody, yeah, I, I can't take those <laughs> off, but they're off when we're inside. Um, somebody said something, and I kind of ignored it because we were talking, and now I'm not sure where I'm supposed oh, to go. Oh, no. Oh, we got to go to Route 7. I'm sorry. Never mind. We can figure that out. Is this Route 7? Oh, it is. I don't know. There it is. Riviera Walk. Oh. Wait, I want to know what your essay was. Oh, wait, my essay when I was. Wait, no, what? no, 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 no. I was oh, looking that, that at person? your, your, yeah, your Twitch chat, and I can't read the name because it's showing up weird on my screen. But oh, it yes. says the comment says that sounds like a great excuse to ignore my essay. But I want to hear your essay. Yeah. Dang That's it, Miss Snorlax. Zombie. Uh, we've been here before. Get your ass up. Handed it over. Why don't we all have a polka flute? 
Yeah, why doesn't everybody have a polka flute? What it's if it's a just a shitty, like, recorder that you get when you're, like, in third grade? That is what it is, right? Beep, boop, bop. That's okay. the song that you have to play is just Hot Cross Buns to wake up Smarlet. Hot Cross Buns. Hello? Hi, child. You! <clears throat> no. Oh, no. I, I promise no, sure you, you'll I love don't... field work. No. Dang it. It's one of those false choices. He's forcing me to. He's forcing this yep. child to become a farmer. I mean, can you imagine this is if not you're walking? A, is... You're from the country. You're from the 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 not cities. Can you imagine yes. walking down the street and there's just a guy on the side of the road? He's like, "Hey, you! You're a corn. You gotta farm this corn." Okay, so 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 when I was a child. My family grew a lot of tobacco, and yeah. I have many memories as a child of, like, hopping on the back of a tractor and either planting or harvesting tobacco, and then, like, helping, like, wrap it to, like, hang it up in the barn to dry, and then, like, going with my papa to, like, the um, warehouse to, like, sell it. Right, that's like a family experience. That's like your family owns the farm. It is this would be like still a stranger. child labor. <laughs> of course, it's all child labor, but usually it's at least you keep it to your children. It's true. Oh, it's just like it's a family business. Honestly, it's fine. Um, but no, I uh, and then yeah. like we also used to go to the stock market a lot too when I was a kid, because I liked going and like looking at all the the cute animals that nobody would ever buy me. <laughs> the stock then, you said the stock market i'm like what you went to and you no, watched the, like where they stock trade stocks like the the new york stock exchange what are you talking about stockyard like that's the stockyard the market that's oh the difference between God. a farmer and like the modern day like oh, i went to the stock market i love the idea of like a movie where this guy's like i'm gonna get into stocks and then he shows up to his first day at the office and it's just like baby cows everywhere all right, Renee. It would be so wholesome. We're here at grass, so you know okay. what that means. All right, I got my D twenty. Uh, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take uh, uh, odds. I'm doing odds. I'm using. Okay, I'm using the same D twenty from last week. Is that okay, or do we want to switch it up? Um, no, you gotta switch it up. You got a nice okay. red one. Um, probably. I actually I'm don't have a whole whole lot of red, red ones. What about orange? Um, I do have some nice orange ones. Um, ooh, I have a metal one that's like a really pretty like coral orange with okay. gold accent. Yes. You can probably actually hear it while I roll it. This will be exciting. I'm gonna I hold. I'm gonna it. hold my tray up to, uh, to the mic so we can hear I it. I choose you. It's eighteen. That so means you picked you're odds. First. So it's me. Okay. Son of a gun. I Oh wait, can I not well, get in here? Oh wait. Well, no, you said that last time, but then it was a goldine, and that sucked. That's true. You did get a goldine. Oh, um, maybe we can. And I named it White Claw. Okay, hold on. We gotta <laughs> fight these folks first. Oh, we have to fight these people. Okay, that's fine. I, I went in the wrong way. <laughs> Hello, Ryder Marilyn. Ah. Time for more grants. It's all grants all the time. I forgot that we named. <laughs> Squirtle Charmosaur. Yeah, he's Charmosaur. <laughs> I completely it's forgot about that. We pissed off like four people in chat. We we're just like, what the fuck? <laughs> it's a rock. It's a rock. It's a rock? You gotta say it with the little inflection on the end. Throw rocks at him. Bite, bite. Now, luckily. Goodbye. We have far out leveled these trainers already because a little this is bit, a Pokemon yeah. game. Yes. yes. I'm sure it it'll come to bite us in that. the back, bite us in the butt at some point, right? Oh, he's got two. This guy's got three Pokemon. Shit. How did that happen? Um, I guess Bubble. Man, Bubble sucks. I mean, it's um, not ideal, but it's also like a really low level thing. Golet. We'll bite the friggin' golet. Um, I actually might then switch out. Uh oh. I'm also noticing I can't see the button very well. 
else. So let's move that away. Um, I might switch out its a rock to deal with this prime ape. Um, but I don't have anybody. Fighting type is kind of a dangerous type. Yeah. For us right now. What? Yeah, okay, yeah. I was going to say, like, we don't really have anything that's good against fighting type right now, I mean, right? We do have Grant. Doc I'm sorry, Dr. Grant. Dr. Grant. I can't. I got to make sure I'm specific. We have Dr. Put some Grant. respect on his name. Um, let's, uh, we'll just, oh, I'm way higher level than him. We'll just rock smash him. There we go. Um, yeah, smash we have that. Dr. Grant who's flying, and he is definitely effective against the, okay. the fighting. But my all my Pokemon are basically weak to fighting. Or okay. at least not effective. So that's a problem. Leer. Hey. Um uh. Charmasaur. I mean water's <clears throat> bad against them, right? It's not bad, it's just bubble and water gun are both like poo poo. Ones. Shitty. Yeah. Um I mean I could do bite, I guess. Why not? Um, yeah. Yeah, I'll actually what's, give him the old teach, bite and smash. I maybe I should teach Charmasaur Body Slam, which we just. Oh, that's had. a good idea. Yeah. Yeah, bite's not gonna be effective because it's dark. Mm-hmm. That's um, true. I'll just, I'll just I'll just bubble him. All right, bubble him. We'll just, just bubble, bubble him. him. The old smash and bubble. Yep. There we go. All right, that should do. Marble. Yay! Yeah, uh, Charmosaur, aka War Turtle, is a good Pokemon, but his moves are absolute trash. All right, so I should be able to. We should have some TMs here. Yeah. Oh yeah, we also got Hyperspace Hole. Hyperspace right. Hole. Interesting. Oh, he can't learn Body Slam? He's a big turtle. Well, they're slow, man. Just fall on him. He's a big turtle, man. That what requires what? momentum. He's got slow momentum. He can't even learn Soak, which is actually water. That's weird. Man. All right, well, it's a rock is learning it then. Guess what? Wait. Which move should be forgotten? Yeah, he's going to learn it. It's fuck Tackle. Right, what is this? 85? Aye. Whoa, way better. Yeah, so much better. All right, great. Well, amazing. So, do you who do you want in the lead? Do you want Charmosaur up front? I need Rufio up front. Um, I, I mean, I want to go Dr. Grant, but he's already so high. Uh, let's do Charmosaur for a little bit, and then I think switch Rubber Ducky up, because I think yeah, Rubber Ducky yeah. needs to get better. We need a couple I, of those for Charmosaur. Didn't I? I have these really delightful earrings that I bought for myself for my birthday this past year, um, and I always forget they're like deer antlers. Um, and I have my ears like my lobes are slightly stretched, so they're like a little bit thicker gauge than just like normal earrings, and I always forget like how sharp these goobers are. Because I forgot that I was wearing them and I put my headset on to start streaming and then I realized, like, oh, I'm getting stabbed in the neck by something. Because they're, something like, is... dangly down. I was like, what something is that? Is and then I was like, oh. Me. I was like, oh, it's uh, it's my, my deers. My antler earrings. Oh, what is this? Togekiss? What is Togekiss? Flying fairy, probably, right? Silly. Probably fairy, I think. Eh! <laughs> It just looks like a stuff. silly, like, balloon animal. It doesn't even look like a real thing. Yeah, what a ridiculous... <laughs> I mean, out of all the ridiculous Pokemon, it's one of them. It certainly is one of them. It's not as bad as the, um, fussin', uh, just, it's an ice cream cone. Uh, yeah. Vanil Vanillite. Mm-hmm. Oh, Rufio wants to learn Slash? Oh yeah. What is that? 70 a 100. What's Comet Punch? I'll definitely switch that out. Comet Punch has poo poo accuracy. Cool. I need Rufio to level up so he becomes dark type. That mm. will help. It's a rock wants to learn Smackdown. 
50. Ooh, that's good for flying. Two to five. Hmm, so that's like a base of 50. Yeah, it is good for flying, but flying is already weak to rock. So, like, I don't really... It's it's kind of a good move. I'm not going to learn it. It's kind of a good move, but I don't think it's necessary. Because that would just allow other... That would allow it to be hit by ground moves. Like, okay, right. great. I'm going to keep throwing rocks at it. Yes. All right, we're moving on. I mean, that's how I deal with most problems in life. Is, ah, I'm just gonna throw a rock at it. I'm just Rithia gonna keep throwing rocks punch. at he didn't it. Even have that move, technically. Wait, how did he? Oh, <laughs> because uh, oh, he is flying. Oh, oh sand slash! I love sand slash. There's so oh, cute. you can bubble him. Okay, I'll bubble him. And Rufio is going away now. Bye, Rufio. <sighs> Rufio is going away. Sending out Shadow Moon. Have we had a Pokemon level up yet? We have had somebody's leveled up, right? Any Pokemon level up? Oh wait, in this fight? Uh, no, I'm not sorry. Level up, evolve. Has, have we've had somebody evolve, right? Yeah, War Turtle. Cause we started oh, with Squirtle. Duh. <laughs> the one duh. right in front of your face, wagging his cute little tail at you. But I think that might be the... Oh, wait, no, that's not the only one. We had somebody else, but I think we put him into storage. We have Grant. Grant's in storage. And then we have Dr. Bye. Grant. Does Dr. Grant evolve, though? No, no, Dr. Grant okay, I didn't is think so. as powerful now as he will be. Of course he is. He's got his doctorate. Yep, exactly. He's done with post-education. Yeah. Did you He's see my so Pokemon far in student smile? debt. Oh. oh! Speak of the devil, baby. Oh, good job, Ooh, it's a rock. a graveler. Wait, is it graveler? Uh, Geodude, graveler, and then... Oh, wait, no, I think graveler is the final one, isn't the it? The third one? Maybe let's I'm see. wrong. Let's see, it should tell me. Right. No, this is... Graveler, oh, this graveler. one is graveler, yeah. What's the last one called? <laughs> What's the big orby one called? There is a third one, right? Uh, yeah, he's Geodude, a big orb. Graveler, Rock Boy, and Rock Boy. Yep, that was I'm and Rock sure Boy, the classic, classic trio. Name a more iconic trio. Oh, um, eh, 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 eh. <clears throat> oh shit! I just want to get this. I just want to get this new Pokemon, but I keep getting assaulted by couples. Ma and I mean, Pa, Max and Joe. Aw, Wobbuffet and Feraligator. That's a... Wobbuffet has lipstick. I was going to say, do they... <sighs> Is it because it's a female Wobbuffet? That's what I was lipstick? just about to ask. Hmm. I'm going to Google it. I'm mad because I already know the answer. <sighs> Interesting. What... Duh, difference. Did they always do that? <laughs> I don't know. Lady, whoa. Be careful. Be, you might curse your you might curse your search bar for the rest of the time. If yeah, my my in. search my search bar is like, what the fuck are you typing Sexy into me right now? Wobbuffet. Um, what is it? Rule thirty four. Is that the yeah, weird yeah, internet the thing? It's like everything. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um. Gender differences. Female Wobbuffet have lipstick-like markings around their mouths or lips. In the Pokemon XY series, a female Wobbuffet owned by Dr. White appears to have a red marking, while in the games and Pokemon Go, female Wobbuffet's markings are pink. I did not... Oh, Rufio! Oh, God. Rufio! Oh, I gotta get oh, no. Rufio out of here. Yeah. So is the... Okay, so remind me, the rule is if they go down, then they're out, right? They're dead. They yeah, get, they die. Yeah, they get if replaced. If they die in the game, they die in real they life. They die in real life. So we've got to just... We put them away into into cold storage and never see them again. That's so scary. I know that they're not real things, but that stresses me out so much. 
and it's bound to happen. A lot of Nuzlocke's, like, either it'll be super violent and chaotic at the beginning of the game and then settle into the rest of it, or it will be super violent and chaotic at the end of the game. At the end? And you'll lose, yeah, like, you'll, like, lose, like, your entire team going through Victory Road. No! I will oh, cry. Taunts. Taunts not a bad word, actually. But I guess it's more... Hmm. No, we'll do it. Mm -hmm. Taunt can be. It's more competitive than it is actual Pokemon, but... Eh, right. Charmosaur, learn a new move. <laughs> you nerd. All right. Charmosaur um, <laughs> has learned tax fraud. That would be more Bold useful than move. what he has right now. Old move, Charmosaur. Um... Okay. All okay. right. Here it is. Here's finally the time we made All right. it. Oh dear. Catch. Your Pokemon is. Oh. Zigzagoon. <laughs> I've already talked about how much I love them. Oh, great. I'm so excited. I'm so glad that you're excited for Zigzagoon. I'm glad you went first. Backstory for what I'm gonna name him. Oh god, okay. Well then I'm ready. Okay. So for legal purposes, the story is a joke and is completely untrue. Um, but oh. when I was a kid, um my uncle had a everything that I'm about to say in this story is going to be southern as okay. hell. So Wait, just kind of stick with it, okay? Is, and then you can give me the story. Alright, so the name is Shadow. Okay. Okay. Good. We have so a the story. And shadow moon. Uh huh. The, the the story is so my uncle had a um plot of corn that he grew out in the middle of the woods to attract deer, so then he could hunt them, okay, which is yeah. I think illegal. Um, but whatever. Uh, and at some point, a like something that was not deer started. <laughs> you got a golden. <laughs> we talked about fucking golden also. <laughs> um, but he started noticing that something that wasn't deer, and not in a not deer way, but something had been eating the corn and disrupting like the flow of like deer through the area. So he set up a live trap, thinking that it was like a raccoon or an opossum or something like that. And so it turned out that it was actually, like, a family of raccoons. Um, but he only managed to catch one of them in the live trap, which was a very small baby raccoon. Okay. And my uncle was going to do what good old boy southern uncles do to animals that they perceive as pests. And I said, no. no I want him. But I was also already deep in the throes of like being a Hunky Grant. Yay! Um, I was already deep in the throes of being a video game nerd at that time. Um, and could not fathom ever getting to own a hedgehog. So I named him Shadow after Shadow the Hedgehog. <laughs> Very nice. And did he how long did he, do you like have him? I had for a little over a, I like like a year. Um, his favorite food was Cheetos and marshmallows, and That's, I had like several. I mean, he was not a trim, a trim little friend. <laughs> um, but then my uh, my dad did get worried because he did start to get like big. And was like, no, we have to, like, we have to let him back go. But because he had spent a year in human captivity being hand-fed Cheetos yeah. mm -hmm. by a 10-year-old girl who was obsessed with him while watching, like, fucking Spongebob, he was like, no, outdoors sucks. And so he just kept, like, figuring out ways to sneak back into the house. Aww. And so my dad finally had to, like, catch him and, like, take him... Like, drive him, like, 20 minutes away and release him. Which no. I still get very sad That's about. So sad. I was like, we could just keep him. Yeah. Yeah. I, I miss him. 
Thanks oh, thank to the you. Berry. <clears throat> Shadow. That Andy, I, Andy, I do not consider my zigzagoon bad luck. I do. I love my zigzagoon. I know you do. But I love her. Oh, I love God, her. I remember. Do I have to chase this poodle around a garden? Oh, my God. I forgot about that. This is how the rich get richer. Yep. Fuck capitalism. <laughs> I was going to say, you heard it here first. Pokemon is anti-capitalist critiques. Oh, speaking of anti-capitalist critiques, um, I watched The Menu last night. Freaking love uh, that movie. Love it. It was so good. It was so good. I did feel there were a couple of moments that I did feel a little personally attacked as a chef where I was like, okay, you need to lower your voice <laughs> movie. <laughs> You're using your outside voice. This is being a little too rude. Thank you, um, work, Kelly Belly. Yeah, no, that, that, could that, it movie, be? that movie was was targeted. Mm. Oh, I did. I I did have a moment where I was like, I know I'm not supposed to sympathize with the murderous kitchen staff, but I'll be darned if I, mean, I did you, not get. A You're little bit of satisfaction. I did get a little bit of satisfaction over them humiliating the absolute cuss out of the foodie character. And, like, getting him to come back into the kitchen and being like, oh, just go ahead. Put on a coat. Like, you know what bergamot is. It's totally fine. Cook something. Yeah. Go ahead. Fucking cook something. I, I was, like, cheering. I definitely read that movie as, like, I mean, they're... They are products of this of a broken system and yes oh, they yeah. bought into the system but still. but it's also like once you it, it's it's almost like i was talking to one of my friends about it and it's kind of that thing like when you're like people that are in a cult like don't really have the capability to like self-reflect on themselves and critique themselves and be like no the thing that i'm in is super problematic and holy shit i've just given my entire life over to it working as like in kitchens in food service you have that self-awareness where you're like no no no, i'm gonna stay in it but this is dumb <laughs> like why did i agree to do this here's the stupid dog stupid dog where it was the uh i i think it was course three um where it was a uh, chef whatever his face was like chef jason's like mess or whatever and like he's giving like the speech about it and he's like he's given up years of his life cooking for people that will never see him or like tell him thank you for it or whatever i was just like <laughs> we didn't need to be that goddamn rude right now in this moment okay game like we did not need to do that I just want a burger. None of that deconstructed bullshit. It did. Dude, that burger looked fucking amazing. I do want that burger real bad. Okay, am I stupid? How do you... you know Gipplenox, know what I think? This is a puzzle. We have to corner it where the path leads Maybe to a dead end. Maybe I should wait end, by the right? entrance. What? This game is like telling me I Jay, couldn't solve the puzzle and the game is like, all right, well, we'll tell you how to solve it. <laughs> Just make me wait over here. You dumbass. You're Move, like, you okay. stupid dog. Okay, now I gotta. Now it I gotta would be better if I waited over there. Shut the Stupid. This girl is so patronizing. <laughs> or this game, rather, I guess, is being patronizing. Here. It's like, oh my god. And now I run over this way. Pop in for the burger talk. Hi, Spaz. We were talking about the menu. I don't know if you've watched the menu yet, but the burger in that movie looked real good, and it did make me want a smash burger real bad. And instead of getting a smash burger, I went to... We have this, like, bougie food court uh, in the city that I lived in. Um, oh, we've got a very offensive bot no. uh, in chat. Get out of here. Get out of here. Have you got it? Okay, you're on it. Um... But, uh, hi, Grant! Um. But, uh, we have this, like, bougie food court in the city that I live in. Um, I don't know how else to describe it. Um, but I, uh, 
I went there today after work because I actually, like, the restaurant's closed, but I'm still having to go in and do, like, administrative stuff. So it's the first, it's, like, my one week a year that I get to take an actual, like, lunch break and get, like, a nice lunch. Um, so I went to Boozy, Bougie Food Court and got, um, there's a artisanal hot dog stand. <laughs> yes, uh-huh. Uh, and so I got, I always forget the thing that I do, because I love hot dogs, but I don't eat them very frequently because they're horrific for you. Um, so like that's maybe a, like, whatever, that's freaking, that's what they want you to think. No, the way that I eat them, if I ate more than one a month would stop my heart in like 48 hours. Um, so I went to the bougie food court today and I got, um, a chili cheese dog. That was Still like, blends the the messiest thing like there's no dignified way to eat it like i was covered in slaw and chili like it was like on my face like i had to like go to the bathroom and like take a like tiny like sink shower after i got done eating it but it was so worth it i do wish that they had a separate room where it's like oh i see that you're getting something from farm dogs would you like to join us in this private dining room where no one else can watch you inhale this hot dog laden with slaw and cheese and chili and get Just, it all you, over your no, face and hands? I don't want that room. They need they you need to own it. You've made your choice. <laughs> Just, Co choices have I, consequences. I, I, and I now go you there. It's like them. it's like right down the street from the restaurant that I work at, so I go there pretty frequently, but since there are so many different like food stalls there I only get the hot dog like once every now and then um and I just like I I like walked in I like said hi because there's also a tap room there and uh so I got my beer and I, I like this girl said is hi this is a one of the I watched them with you at Axton back to Pokemon for really quickly for one thing Pokemon has this yes. weird thing where they keep making these scenes where it's like are you guys is you're like you've never hung out with the person at all but suddenly it's like oh my god look at this cute little moment together and i'm like bro i don't even know this girl's name like the ferris wheel with n when you ride the ferris wheel with n <laughs> uh, yeah i'm sorry i'm trying to catch up on the uh youtube chat um ba -ba -ba -ba. Yeah, no, this, is, this is our first thing um going to record kaleidosphere don't do anything i wouldn't do um don't worry about it adopt more evil pets of course give me the flute you slaw on a chili dog bastard. yeah yeah slaw on a chili dog it's called carolina style because north carolina if there's one thing we're good at doing it's closing our goddamn arteries and loving every moment of it Hoka flute gotten and yes we have not played gold uh heart gold and no silver. the co-ops would could like there's a, a multiple ways to do co-ops some people do it like you can play both of you play the game on your own but like kind mm -hmm. of simultaneously but i kind of like the you're just both playing the same game and you have half the mm -hmm. team and do everything double battles electrify Next. I got chills that multiplying. There we go. All right. We have an entire Grease team of Pokemon. Uh, Let's see. Electrify? Whoa, a whole bunch of people. No, wait. It's electrifying. Um, maybe I... Wait, how the fuck is Wartortle able to learn Electrify? Did I read that I right? Yeah, I don't know. It's like a weird... I don't actually know this move. If the target is they should be diametrically opposed. Before because water is supposed to be weak to electric, right? Well, it's not like an attack, though. If the target is electrified before it uses a move during that turn, the target's move becomes electric type. So it, like, turns moves into electric type for some reason. Oh, maybe I'm getting it backwards. Maybe electric types are weak against water type Pokemon. No, no, no. Electric types are, uh, water is weak to electric. So you work. Okay, well, what the fuck? Why does that move make sense for a water? Okay, I don't know. He just, like, I don't know, builds up static electricity. I don't know. Almost as good. Wow, we've got some South Southeastern American rivalry talk going on in the chat. It's, you know, just all of us down here are 
Nobody's having a good time of it. I will stand by, though, um, Eastern Carolina style barbecue, vinegar based barbecue sauce. The only, the only way to do barbecue. Um, what's the, like, the McDonald's McRib? What kind of barbecue is that? That's, that's like, ketchup-based barbecue. I think barbecue. that's the best one. Just the McRib. I need to send... I think I can technically send it to you. Like, I think I can technically mail it because it's a vinegar-based thing. Um, but I have, like, a really amazing, like, family recipe for, uh... For hot sauce. Oh, you could have had a oh you're so cute! Fuck. Oh, can we break our own rules? No. Please. We, can't. we can kill it's Sligu. It's so cute. No. I would have I loved love a Sligu. It. It's got cute little Sailor Moon tentacles. It's so cute. Or not tentacles, but antenna. Time to kill him. Oh, no. Run, Sligu. Time can to we, kill him. Do we him. have to kill it? Can we just, yep. like, let it go? No. He's gonna you die. Can't let it go. Nope. No pacifist run. Nope. There's no pacifist. There's no pacifism in the Pokemon oh, universe. Everybody do, dies. Everybody dies. Can we do? It's real Charles Darwin out here. Um. Can we play Undertale at some point on a Brew Crew stream? I think sure. that would be really cute. And I've fun. played Undertale, but yes. I have also played Undertale, and I love it. Hello. It's one of my favorite games. What? Is happening. There was a guy hiding in these rich, rich kid, kid Tia. Tia. He's cute though. Dragonair. And <gasps> Whoa! Is that a Dragonair? Dragonair was like my favorite Pokemon when I was a kid. Dragonair is is definitely a good Pokemon. Wait, what is he? Is a is this the fridge? So he's water electric. Water Baz, electric. why are you asking why Hungy <laughs> Grant's so cute? I don't know if Grant caught on to the fact that we had <laughs> a little hungy Grant. Grant, what are Wait, you talking isn't... about? He's just hungy Grant. That's all, that's all he He's is. He's hungry Grant. Is it? Hang on. Isn't Rotom in Pokemon? Is it Sun and Moon? As like the the Pokedex the thing? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's God! In all the, he's technically in all the new ones because I think um, it's just established that all of your your phone always uh, uses. That's a Rotom. so depressing. That's so depressing. Um, I think it's probably good to switch Charmosaur out because this electric yeah. type is gonna mess it up. Yeah. Uh, oh. Doctor Grant. Your, your call. Uh, let's do Rubber Ducky. She needs to level up. Rubber ducky, you're the one. Beep, 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 beep. Uh, we're gonna do magnitude. S -s Wait, what is this? Uh, Sailor Moon would be so much different if it's tentacles. No. No, it wouldn't change too much. If she just had tentacles growing out of her head. Yeah, if she had tentacles instead of pigtails. That. <laughs> okay. That has to have been <gasps> made. I... I made a mistake. I made a mistake, Renee. <laughs> Renee, I may have made an error. Now, I don't want you to... I don't want you to freak out. There's no reason to get upset, but... I may have done... Yeah. I may have, I may have accidentally thought that Rubber Ducky was ground type, and Rubber Ducky was not ground type. So Rubber Ducky is no longer with us. And I know that that's- Yes, James, I, Dr. I, Grant looked so goddamn stupid. I know that is unfortunate. <laughs> I know it's okay. I but Rubber Ducky boy. is dead. I'm sorry. Okay. I killed our first Poke Death was because I killed him. That's okay. Ellen did straight up like kill our first person 
directly in the uh, Devil in Me playthrough. Like, directly the decision she made caused the character to die. <laughs> and she was like, God damn it. <laughs> no, rougher ducky. That was a good type. All right. Oh. Uh, Everybody, moment of silence. Pour one out for Rubber Ducky. I thought I forgot he was steel type. Steel and fairy, not ground and fairy. It's on me, okay? It's because it's because of my actions. And I accept that. And I will have to live with that. <laughs> it's my burden to bear. If you think about it, I'm as much of a victim as Rubber Ducky was. <laughs> I'm just as much of... If you really think about it, if you boil it down... <laughs> yeah. I'm at much, as much victimized by my own actions as Rubber Ducky is, because I have to live with this. God, who else do we... You have Crobat. The be one of the best Pokemon in the game. My camera's not on, but you can't see my so you can't maybe see my face. Maybe it's time. Maybe this I am is, like. Maybe this is time to bring Crobat. I'm gonna turn on my camera just for Discord, so you can see what my face looks like right now. I'm I'm just saying that maybe, maybe, it's time to bring Crobat Crobat back into the mix. Crobat couldn't have gotten hit by magnitude. I'm just gonna say it. I mean, like, <clears throat> like I said, it's it was my fault. But Crobat would have been immune to magnitude if, if Crobat had been here. Need you to go over to Discord right now. I, I don't know what you're talking about. Look at my face. Your camera is, is your camera on? No, mm -hmm. no. I turned it off. I can't see you anymore. <laughs> I turned it off. I refuse to look into the face of the things that I have done. Disrespectful. Yeah, see, Crobat... Listen, okay. Crobat's I really understand. I understand the tactical advantages of Crobat, okay? Absolutely. However... Have you seen anything about my about me that does not indicate that I do not base my Pokemon party solely on aesthetics and vibes? Crobat does not fit my aesthetic, nor does he fit my vibe. But He's not he, in my party. But he could. Is what I'm Yeah, saying. if we give him a full whole ass like Princess Diaries makeover and turn him into Mimikyu. Fuck. Oh um, God! There's a Garchomp on screen. I missed yeah, that. Yeah, we want to. I get missed Garchomp it for the bit. Here. He's just. I swear. What, type? I swear to God. If anything happens to Doctor Grant. Listen, listen, listen. Doctor Grant can't. I'm die. leaving. <laughs> Crobat is the vibe. That's true. Crobat is. Vibe, and I'm not denying that, but he is not. Crobat is not my vibe. Crobat is not my vibe. Doctor Grant, his dumb little wings going 100 miles an hour to keep him six See, inches no, up off the ground. Right there, That's my fucking there's, vibe. There's your dragon rage. You run into that at level one, and that's the end of your Nuzlocke run. Luckily, we did not run into him at level one. Yeah, this entire concept is like a playthrough dynamic is very unhinged. Yeah, if Doc Grant goes down, I'm I'm not only leaving the Brew Crew streams, I'm just leaving. Quitting the Quitting network. I'm weird. just done. We've Grant not even gotten into the main. Like, Where's Renee? I'm like, ah, oh, Renee's not coming back. <laughs> I accidentally let Dr. Grant die. Dr. Grant was killed. <laughs> Who the fuck is Dr. Grant? Dr. Grant was killed in action. Oh now look my at this. god. Dr. Grant is way too fucking strong. Yeah, I mean, look at the arm workouts my man's doing. He's gotta be so strong. Both he is doing physically his best. and emotionally. 
<laughs> I love him so much. His dumb little snake face is the best. Yeah, I kind of realized he's like a snake in a coat, <laughs> in a way. He's like a snake in a fur coat. He's a snake in a bird costume. Yeah, he kind of is a snake in like a hop. You know, like when you get like those costumes for cats, that's like a little pet. It makes him like have little legs. Like that's what he's in right now. He's just a snake. He does. He physically looks like what would happen if you just gave a snake wings and you were like, here you go, and just released it into the wild. And just tried to get it, like, let it figure it out. Yeah. Oh, Whoa! Why are we missing all the good ones? I will, since, listen, since you killed Rubber Ducky, oh, never mind. We can't, we can't. Oh. Rubber Ducky is dead. I brought this, like I said, I brought this oh. on us. Hi, I'm Ryder Rubbin. It looks like an Aerodactyl. Aerodactyl. I'm a night slow, no wait. I'm a night slow poke. Mewtwo tentacle aerodactyl. What's the next one? Is that really is that really the word? Yeah. Yeah, that's part of the poke rap. I honestly don't remember. What does this do again? Priority moves. Um that's not super great. I'm gonna take a moment to try to memorize. This is why we need to get stronger, so I can't accidentally kill our Pokemon when I make poor choices. I can't believe I used freaking. God, I think I'm remembering it right now. It's it. Charmeleon, Wartortle, Mewtwo, Tentacruel, Aerodactyl, Ammonite, Slow, Poke, Pidgeot, Arbok. I think that's it, folks. Or that's all, folks. Oh my god. Because it's like at the very end of it. I, I remember just. I remember, I'll tell you what, I remember Aerodactyl, and then I remember, in, in, there is a hundred and fifty or more to see to be a I pulled the lyrics up. You want to see? Destiny. Yeah. Oh, All are right, you going to so do it? I want to be the best that ever was to beat all the rest. Oh, yeah, that's my cause. Electro. Oh, I don't know how to do with the flow. Oh, I'm God, too yeah. white to do this collectively. Yeah. It's Electro, Diglett, Nidoran, Mankey, Venusaur, Rattata, Firo, Pidgey, Sea King, Jolteon, Dragonite, Ghastly, Ponyta, Vaporeon, Polyrath, Butterfree. Catch him, catch him, gotta catch him all. Pokemon! I'll search across the okay. land. Yeah, the Look far and wide. <laughs> hi, Danny. Danny <laughs> says hi. That's my wife. I'm going to memorize this and do it as a TikTok. Oh, good. Good. I, oh, excellent. Wonderful. Just bring it back. Wonderful. Yeah, we... we. Oh, I, How I long is it? How long is it? You could do I a mean, it's 151 of these goobers. Um, the song's got to be like three minutes long. It is. I think there's like a time. It doesn't say. <gasps> Acrobatics. That's a good... 55... Oh my god, I forgot that there were spoken word parts to it. There's like a spoken word part at the beginning that says, Okay guys, we gotta rap some Pokemon. You just do the singing, I'll do the rapping. Oh my oh, god. Sure, mister. Why are you in oh our my school? Are you allowed to be here? <laughs> Who the fuck Sir? are you? <laughs> Oh my god. What an iconic. Did that person was that like an actual like a musical artist? Like did they do something else? I'm looking it up right now. It doesn't look like it. Uh it was capitalized Poke Rap on Pokemon 2 B A Master, which I think is the, the album that you had. Yes. They were talking about. That was um, the one. was the was the first Poke Rap to be made by Four Kids Entertainment for the Pokemon anime. It was made to feature the first 150 Pokemon that existed at the time. Wait, at the was... end of an episode, Ash, in a voiceover, would announce, Don't go away! The Poke Rap is next! 
Two verses would be played at the end of the episode, and by the end of a five-day week, all the verses would have been sung. It oh was used God. from Pokemon I Choose You to the Breeding Center Secret. That sounds terrible. Wait, the first Pokemon rap? Were there more? Apparently, they did an updated version for every series that came out, uh, like every animated series. Oh, that can't be true. They have, they've did, they've done all of them because they're on every gen. To this mm -hmm. day, I it says Mew is the only Pokemon from Generation One that is not included because the Poker Rap was made before Mew was announced outside of Japan. <gasps> Stop. But sh this is so important. Shut up. A verse of the poker rap beginning with Articuno was sung by Instinct in a kids WB promo. However, the band members mispronounced Muck as Mook. Instinct? Why? Instinct doesn't know what fu <laughs> fucking Muck is. You can't expect them to know. Oh wait, no, that's Steel. I'm so dumb. You can't expect you him to know what you Muck might, is. You might have lost me for the rest of the stream. <laughs> Super effective on Dr. Muck with one damage. Oh my god, that's amazing. Oh, Mook. Glaceon! Glaceon's so cute. Mook. <laughs> it's hey, a Dr. Mook point. Grant. Man, your oh team, your team is really struggling here. We got poison, you got uh, freaking un you got dead corpse, and you got burned. Right? You got to get out of this grass. Whose fault is this? We got to get out of this grass. We got to get out of here. Mook. <laughs> Mook. Mook is a good Pokemon. I'd take, I'd take him if we caught him. Mook, use the force. Um. <laughs> it's just. Can we teleport? Or not teleport, but can we, like, escape rope or some shit out of this? No, we have nothing. We have no options. Jesus I can Christ. heal. I can heal Dr. Grant's burn, though. So, I just gotta. Dr. Grant cannot fight, because if Dr. Grant dies, I swear to God. Well, the run is going to take oh, a Sizor. real dark turn. Sizor's a cool Pokemon. Ah, 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 the run going to take a real dark turn if we can't, if, if we lose Dr. Grant. We're going to be in some trouble. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, come on. No wonder his arms are so tired. He's carrying this entire fucking team. Oh my God, just let me out of this fucking <laughs> grass. Oh, Zigzagoon. Zigzagoon. Kick his ass, Dr. Grant! No, we're just gonna run. No, he's not even worth Wait, it. Wait, we can even... run? From, you told yeah, me we fights? couldn't run! No, from fights you can run. From from wild Pokemon. Well, then let's run until we can heal our boys! Well, and cause girls! Most, well, because most of these he can, Dr. Grant can kill in one hit, so I'm not worried about it. I was worried about other trainers in the woods. Height stalking me in the bushes. Okay. We're almost... Oh, my God. Oh! I hate this game. I just missed that item. Okay, we're... Okay, we're going to heal. Oh, yep, we have to heal. Remote and team. replace... Replace Ariana Grande, a.k.a. Rubber Ducky, because she is dead. We have a corpse in our inventory right now. In the arms of an angel. <laughs> no, here it will even better. Oh, death. Oh, death. I do love that song, Won't actually. Won't you spare me over for another <clears throat> year. Goodbye. The, uh, I Rest think it's well, Rising... Prince. Oh, my God. Goodbye. Our first one. Rejected No, count. you named the box they're going to hell? <laughs> yeah, he's in hell now. <laughs> yeah, it's frozen over. This is one of those worlds. I'm Go by. so upset he's spaghetti. All right, so who do you want to bring back in? <laughs> Wait, you actually have four boys because we also got this. This, Oops. Wait, did you put Shadow in your box? Give me Shadow. I know. I'm putting okay. them back in the correct box right now. 
But now I Shadow don't want in? them to die. No, because I don't want them to die. Because okay, they're so great. cute. You know what? You know what? Let's put Crobat in. Let's put Oh Luther my god. In. Cause I you know what, honestly, I don't care. I don't okay, care if Luther Come on, died. you don't have to lie about that. You don't have to lie about that. We don't want Lufa to die. Lufa's very important. I don't to want Lufa to die, but like I won't be as upset if Lufa dies as I was that Ariana Grande, aka Rubber Ducky, died. Cause I loved her. She was so good. She was really good. That was a that was a crucial error. Pour one out. Also, is there an item here? No. Okay, hold on. I gotta go back through this stupid forest plant swamp. I don't know what this is. I gotta go back through there into and get that item. Into the thick of it. Into the thick of it. Collecting into corpses it. into a bag of holding. Oof. Why does everybody no! with a bag of holding just put corpses in it? I will say that is one of my favorite dynamics of um, Critical Role, where they have the bag of colding <laughs> that they can just keep dead things in. <laughs> I respected that a lot. That was very fun. This is what I'm saying. I don't know why that's just become a thing. Because you never, never no, because you never know when you're going to need, like, the meat from it or if you can, like, take something I, from I, it. It specifically says in the description how long it takes for things to rot while they're in there. So it's you're just or carrying a body. Or you could right? commit... You know, going back to the whole H.H. H. Holmes thing, we can commit medical fraud where we can sell these bodies <laughs> to medical research facilities. Is there, do you think there is like strong insurance fraud in the world where it's like you can just cast like Zone of Truth? What kind of fraud Probably. do you think happens in the, in the Dungeons and Dragons universe? I think that there's probably a lot of, like, I like the idea of, like, faking magical items by, like, giving them, like, some kind of magical ability or implement just so that way, like, if somebody does cast Detect Magic or whatever, it does show up as magical, but then, it like, pings. it's something, yeah, it's, like, super low I, and, you like, know, isn't I... what you think it is. I, I mean, Disguise Self or whatever is yeah. like a level two spell. So I guess that would probably be pretty common. Is people just getting... Oh, it's yeah. identity fraud. It's just identity yeah. theft left and right. Yeah. That's really what the town guard... Oh, oh my God. A fucking evolved Chansey. Let's see. Yeah. We want to kick That's the shit out of this because... No, these guys are it. worth a ton of experience. Hugging it is also an experience, though. <laughs> no. And that's Can you I imagine want. waking up in the morning and that thing is just sitting at the end of your, end of your bed? Yes! I would be so happy they're With so an cute. egg? Yeah! It's like, hey, I bought you, like, a, a poached egg. What's good? Oh, and you'd be like, thank you. I appreciate that. Actually, this might not be effective because it's fair. You're getting literally bitch slapped <laughs> yes. by this yeah. blissy. This blissy is just slapping the shit out of me. This blissy is putting its whole blissy and kicking your ass right now. <laughs> or is it blissy? He's got his whole blissy out. <laughs> Grab a bucket okay, I can and slap a back, for right? some wet ass blissy. Mm hmm. Yeah. 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 Hi. Oh, we still have. Uh, do we still have experience, experience share? Yeah. There we go. Yeah, Doctor Grant. Look at it. That was a yeah, thousand Hunky experience Grant. for every every single person in the party is gonna level up from that. Well, it's fine, but I could have gotten like six thousand experience just from hugging it, and it would have been fine. Ooh, like, it's an item. I uh oh, babies! Why are we barking? Bruce. What's no, out that's there? Ducky. Oh, Ducky. Ducky's barking now. I think it's she doesn't like any kind of storms, and the wind's blowing really hard right now, and she's still really freaked out from the whole like possible tornado experience. So like anytime the weather's been bad for like the last like three days, which it has been, she's been like freaking the fuck out. Oh, Why are there so many Hitmon tops? I don't know, man. We're doing our best to like call the. Herd. I do love, I do love their little dance move though. It's really cute. I think yeah, I'm gonna use that the next forth. time. Yeah, the next time I'm at the cube. 
Did you ever watch any of the um, Homestar Runner stuff? Oh, of course. Okay. Did you do? I Teen was a Girl child Blood? of the nineties. Of course, I watched Homestar. Runner. I mean, I've met children of the nineties who also don't know what Homestar Runner is. Yeah, but I was also were... a child of the nineties and a nerd. So of course I was gonna say, but they were also like mentally well adjusted during their time in the growing up. Um, oh yeah. Yep. I've. Seen I pretty I much really. I really enjoy the amount of times that I get to quote Teen Girl Squad in my daily life, and nobody knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> Teen Girl Squad. Uh, the other face? day we were talking. Uh, our 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 new chef de cuisine was asking if I thought that we should have like corn as a component for a dish, mm. and I just shook my head and very solemnly was like, "Corn is no place for a mighty warrior." And he was <laughs> like, "What?" <laughs> and I was like, "Nothing. It's fine. Don't worry about it." I kind of want to give uh, Lufa this extreme speed move, which is a really strong normal type. Yeah, do whatever with Lufa. No, come on. Find it in your heart. Look at Lufa. Lufa's trying his best, trying her best. All right, we're getting rid of Leech Life though, because that move is poopy. She just looks mean. She just looks like she's gonna be mean to oh, me. Oh, you're gonna, you're gonna, and I just don't because like of how they that. look, of how she looks, that's where you're she gonna go with it. Looks like she's gonna be mean to me. She's and doing I don't her like best. It. So she has a little bit of resting bitch and face. That's not her fault. Well, it's resting bat face. True, true. That's very good. It is resting bat face. She is resting bat face. <laughs> Although I do love bats. Bats are some of my favorite animals in real life. But that's just like indicative of that character design. I do not like that 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 Pokemon design. It just looks bad. I don't like it. Even again, from I, was... I go on aesthetics and vibes, and it doesn't vibe with my aesthetic. Even when I was a young child. And, you know, everybody was into Harry Potter before J.K.R. sucked ass. And mm -hmm. I, even as a child, I was like, dude, fuck owls. Why does nobody have a pet fruit bat in this freaking stupid school? I love, um, there's a, I don't remember the name of the series that it is, but it's like a thing where it's like Brennan Lee Mulligan and Matthew Mercer just talking about like random dumb shit. And at one point, Brendan, there's one episode that they do where they talk about Harry Potter, and Brendan Lee Mulligan is like, the fact that you have wizards who can teleport from one place to another, and they still use owls as it's forms message. of messaging, yeah. that's animal cruelty! <laughs> it gets very Pretty upset much. about it, and I love it so much. But that's what I'm saying, like, uh, go just look at him. Anybody can look at a picture of a giant fruit bat, and you're trying to tell me that wouldn't be your pet you'd bring? Like, you, oh yeah, I brought a toad. Like, are you kidding? What? Shut up. Oh, I would, I would absolutely. They're have... puppies. They're giant puppies yeah. with wings. They're big puppies. They're mouse angels. They're so cute. I would take one in real life if I could illegally do so. Oh my and god! Right. Take care of it, but the law won't let me do that, and that's fine. But like, yeah. if I was in the the Harry Potter magical universe, I could do it, and nobody does. No, it. it's you know what? No, it's not fine, because this is America, god damn it. Yeah. And if we have a right to bear arms, I have right to pet bat. Right, right to bear bat. Right to bear bat. I would have him just like hook, like he'd just be like, because they're huge, you know, they're giant. They're so he'd just like big. Wrapped, what, he'd just it's be like, like a six foot your waist. wingspan. Yeah. Yeah, he'd, I would wear it like a, like a stylish fanny pack. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I would wear it like a like an off kilter, like stylish belt from the like early two thousands. And then when someone was like, "I like your belt," I would be like, "Thank you." His name's Frederick. What's good, Frederick? And then he would be like, <laughs> and you'd just hand him a little, yeah, a little mango or something. Yeah, and then I would hand him a pear, and he would fucking love it. This is this the future is that we should have. This is well, this is this is the 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 idealistic future that we should be living in, not the dystopia capitalism hellscape that we do live in. This is what I'm, and this is just proves more than anything that's like Harry Potter's just wasted on J.K. Rowling. <laughs> She's just wasted it. You could have done so much. It could have been so much more fun. 
did you, and so I talked about this at length, Spaz is about to back me the fuck up. Um, but I talked about this at length in the uh, stream on Sunday. Did you read the Artemis Fowl series? Of course I did. The little Artemis? snarky asshole boy who fucks with fairies just to get rich. Yes, I love... I'm sorry, you mean my first fictional crush as a child? <laughs> yes. Have we talked about this before? We might have. I, I don't like know. I love have. Artemis Fowl. Um, he's great. Yeah, no, Artemis, he's, he's great. Artemis Fowl was such a better series than Harry Potter. Well, I like I, from from every standpoint, from I like do agree a with that. And character development, from writing ability, like all <laughs> Spaz is like, let's go. I I do agree with that. And they yes. wasted the movie. The movie was, I didn't even watch so it. Like, bad. I, I after the reviews and stuff came out, I was like, not even worth my moment. And my my wife was even like, no. no, I'm gonna give it a shot. And she got like 30 minutes in, and she's like, yep, can't do it anymore. I got so off. mad. Well, the part, I will tell you, like, one very specific part that pissed me off, and it's very early in the movie, um, because I am, I am very much, like, you know, you can mess around with the original source material as long as it makes sense and it doesn't detract away from, like, the original story that the books were trying to tell, but everything, every artistic liberty that they took in the movie completely detracted away from the entire point of the series. Like yeah. whenever Artemis first encounters the fairy in the market and like trades her a bottle of sake for, or a bottle of, yeah, it's a bottle of sake for her copy of the book. Like they make a big point in the, in the book to like, talk about how years of living among the humans and dulling her senses and her connectivity with the earth using spirits and stuff like that has like degraded her ability to tap into her magical potential so she can't do shit like her eyes look weird whenever she mm -hmm. looks at artemis but like she can't do anything else and in the fucking movie she like levitates 20 feet off of the fucking ground and it's like ethereal looking and amazing and it's like no she looks like an old, decrepit person no, because and... of the very specific rules that are laid out in the book series that dictate how the rules of magic work versus, like, the relationship that, um, versus the relationship I that, that, Danny's at rehearsal. Um, I'm sorry. She's at rehearsal I'm for sorry. a Sorry, I'm having to be a stand-in. I'm sorry. I'm not as good as Danny. I'll never be as good as Danny. I'm sorry. Um, but no, like that, and then the 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 casting as Judy Dench, or the casting of Judy Dench as Commander Root will also like the entire basis of the entire basis of Commander Root and Holly's relationship was that Holly was the first female officer in the lower elements police department and root was hard as shit on her because of that reason and if you take root and you turn him into a femme character it completely undermines holly's entire development the whole, story it was i was very uh, clear uh, that uh, it the, it and it got the exact same yeah spaz is pointing out the aragon treatment exactly it was the aragon and my other favorite book series as a young adult that was also way better than Harry Potter which was um, Percy Jackson got the same exact treatment in a movie it was made by a person yep. who'd never read the book yep. as far as I know <laughs> they never read the book and so you're just like wow great thanks for ruining this series and any opportunity for us to have a good one movie of this yeah you piece of another shit another thing another thing too I mentioned it in the um in the in the last stream that I did with with Ellen on Sunday night is like going back to Artemis Fowl, Opal Cowboy is one of the best villains in literary fiction. She's fucking amazing. She's terrifying. I love her. I would die for her. I'm not gonna. I'm no. I'm not even gonna kid myself. If I were existing in the same timeline as Opal Cowboy, and Opal Cowboy were like. 
hi, do so you want to join my, like, super evil coalition of, like, underground folks to, like, overthrow the humans? I would be like, yeah, dude, probably. You make some solid fucking arguments. She's an amazing villain. She's so good. And I'm super fucking bummed that we're never going to see... I don't think we're ever going to see, like, an artistically truthful, accurate, faithful representation of Opal Cowboy in anything ever. Because well, no, I don't think they're, they're going to be able to it, cast her correctly. They'll Well, and they'll just never... The, the, the well has already been has already yeah, been empty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, dragon breath. And dragon breath. Yeah, Doctor Grant. Wow, what movie? Hell you yeah, in dragon breath. Um, either let's say I'm gonna let you choose between quick guard and rock throw. I would say probably rock throw because that diversifies the pool of um. Attack say, types that we have. Well, I would say quick guard because this is just a okay. protection move. Oh, okay. There you go then. Yeah, of course. And ja Hyper Jazz, this is the Caked Crusader, a.k.a. Renee, a.k.a. my cast member in our D&D &D show. Hi. So welcome. Danny, I, Danny and I have talked ex at length about doing some more streams, and I've told her to do some streams, and she's been playing so much Overwatch. But she's also very busy. Because Who's her main? She has a job. I don't, I don't. I don't know. I don't know that. I don't know that game, guys. I'm too cool for that game. No, oh, shut that, up. I mean that I played it. I haven't played like Overwatch weekend, in so like, long. Nah, I'm done. I played so much Overwatch when it first came out, and I got so good at it. And then I moved out of the city, and my internet connection was shit. So I couldn't play anymore because I kept getting booted from matches. I haven't played it in, in forever. Uncle Rick is working as a writer for the Percy Jackson show. Wait, who's Uncle Rick? Also, yeah, I mean, like, I yeah, Disney's doing the I'm... show now. I don't know. Maybe they'll revive it. It was a golden opportunity that they already squandered to make, like, 20 movies in a row, like Harry Potter style, and they could have been, like, really good and made a bajillion dollars, but no. Yeah, well, yeah, the same thing with the fucking Artemis Fowl books, or the or Artemis Fowl films, where, like, <sighs> they could have made it so good, and they fucked it up. I will say, my Stop. ideal casting for Artemis Fowl would have been the kid that plays five in uh, Umbrella Academy. Oh yeah, yeah, they're good. They're good actors. I don't, I don't know if he can do an Irish accent, but if he can, that's who I want. All right, who I would have wanted, and now he's an adult, and he can't pass for twelve anymore. So, the fuck. Wake up, Snorlax. Time to battle. It's a far-fetched. <gasps> Wait, this is a route. This counts. Yeah? Yeah, somebody's getting a far-fetched. Oh! So, wait, do we want to roll for it? Uh, yeah, I guess I guess we roll for it. All right, what do you want? Um, I'll take odds. Odds? I'm going to stick okay. with odds. I'm oh, sticking shit. with odds. I dropped it off the table. Reroll. Okay, I'm gonna have to do something. <laughs> try... It's a six! God damn it. You killed my child. That is true. I did murder. <laughs> it does... You owe me another one. I also have a terrible name I for it. I want another one. <laughs> you owe me another one, father. I have a dumb name for it. Okay. Well, okay. here it is. So, um... <laughs> he doesn't even have so fetched. <laughs> Go ahead. L. <laughs> L. Yeah. E. Uh-huh. E. K. Apostrophe. D space capital N oh no <laughs> o oh no o 
No. <laughs> D. No. S. No. First, and I'm so proud of Leak it. Leak nudes. Because <laughs> he's got a leak. <laughs> you caught a, caught a Snorlax, a.k.a. Leak nudes. <laughs> My face hurts. <laughs> Oh, Rick, yeah, Rick Riordan is... Mm. Okay. I mean, I... I'm cautiously optimistic, Spaz, that... that they'll actually make a competent something. So, you know what? I think this was... Okay, so first of all, one thing I'll say, back to the Pokemon real quick. So, mm. clearly, I did set it that things, like, static Pokemon are supposed to be random... So I'm a little mm -hmm. weird. I like I don't know why the Bulbasaur was a ball or the Bla uh, Squirtle was a Squirtle, but yeah, that here, was weird. Just I mean, that had to be just like a, a a random thing, right? Just like insanely random. Yeah. Do you want Farfetch'd in here instead of instead of Crobat, or are you good with Crobat? You tell me. I'm not going to shame you either way. I don't get with Crobat, because I don't care if Crobat gets knocked out. <laughs> so you're just going to leave all your favorite Pokemon inside this box here? I am keeping them safe. Wow. All right. That's how we're Wait, going. can I look at Leaked Nude's um, stats and see like, what their sure. personality and stuff is? Sure. You should okay. can. All right. Let me see Leaked Nude's. So stupid. Here's Link's nudes. He's got keen eye. Can't lower his accuracy. He's somewhat vain and quirky. And quirky. Love it. Wonderful. Perfect. Well, enjoy the rest of your time in the box. Leaked nudes. Safe. Maybe he'll come back in like Victory Road when half of our Pokemon are dead. Oh. Um. Okay, cool. So that means... That was just an extra bonus. So now we get two more on the actual route. Hey, okay, do I need to roll again? Uh, Yeah. I think we're going to have to okay. do the rolling again. Rolling. Oh I don't care about Oh, the my God. Care. Pokemon daycare. Nobody gives a fuck. <gasps> but what if we leave leaked nudes here? That's actually not a terrible idea. And just let leaked nudes become <clears throat> as powerful as they can be. Actually, that's actually... A really good idea. All right, let's do it. Thank that. you. Very good thinking. Very good thinking, because we'll need somebody someday. Mm -hmm. And it's best if they're here, getting experience passively. Please, take leaked, take my Pokemon leaked nudes. <laughs> take my leaked nudes. And hold on to them so we can come back for them can when they're stronger. Can you please hold on and to my leaked nudes? <laughs> Keep them safe? <laughs> Oh god, when we come back for them to when they're stronger and can do more damage, do we call them revenge nudes? Oh no. <laughs> no. It's the worst. I started watching Euphoria last night and it's so terrible. Like, I'm so invested in all of the characters, but it's so traumatizing. Uh, yeah, that's a show I definitely had basically no interest in watching, but I just heard endless, endless things about it. I, so initially, I just kind of thought that it was going to be like an edgier version of Skins, which I watched when I was like 17. Um, the stories are really engaging um, for all the, the characters. The storylines are really interesting, but it's also oh, like... What oh, I got to roll! roll. He's getting a Nidoran. Um, I rolled, uh, what do you want to call? Odd. I'm sticking with 19, odds. so it's up, It's for you. Damn. Well, Nidoran's all right. It's fine. Nidoran's fine. The Nidoran evolutions is where it's at. Yeah, Nidoran's okay. Mm-hmm. Nido King. Cool. Dropped your crown, Nido King. I desperately need to go to the restroom. Uh, would it be okay I'll, if I uh, stepped away and muted my mic no, for let's a just, moment? Let's actually, I actually also will uh, use the restroom and grab a drink real quick. So let's just take a quick break. Okay. Bio break time. Everybody. Everybody. 
restroom, do whatever you need to do, and we'll be back here in like three minutes, so. Bye. Boom.
Good. Boom! We're, we're back. We're Jesus, back. Where is it? My place right now is like fucking insane. Um, would you like Lufa to learn Supersonic? Or, which is conf- Oh wait, I guess are these both confused? Yeah, I think- Oh, never mind. I'm done. It's confuse yeah, Ray is way better. Yeah, I was gonna say, Confuse Ray is so much better than Supersonic. Yeah, Confuse Ray's got the, uh, 100% accuracy, so. Maybe. Much better. I am joined by a baby in my lap now. Because the wind was blowing and she was stressed out, so there's a ducky now in my lap. Oh. Kill baby. Well, I say in my lap. She's like crawled into my dress. Because she has to be as physically close to me as possible whenever it's bad weather outside. She gets very stressed out. Me too. I don't know, right? Me too. All right, here's your Pokemon. Guess what? Yeah! Lose. Guess Lose. what you get. We are naming her Blussy. Guess what you get. <laughs> or Wab. For wet ass Blussy. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna go my with wet Wab. Wet ass Blussy. <laughs> I'm bringing a Muppet and a Muppet and a Bop. No. Bucket and, and a Mop. Wet ass Blussy. I will say, not to make it too political, uh, we've already made our political views very well known on the channel. Uh, one of my favorite things of all time, forever and always, will be Ben Shapiro inadvertently telling oh on himself in read? the breakdown of like the lyrics for WAP, <sighs> where he's just like, that's medically unadvisable. And it's he, like, <gasps> when he oh, no. fucking spoken word poems, <laughs> wet ass pussy, the song. Now bring a bucket and a bop for this wet ass p word. <laughs> Cause I think he just says p word. He doesn't say the actual what word. Freaking loser. Wab. <laughs> okay. W period a period b. Wab. AKA Ben Shapiro's worst nightmare. <laughs> God. Good lord. All right, do you want Blissey on the team? Um Do you want Wab on the team? Who do you, or, or are you good? You've literally are we've we've settled into well, Crobat might die, but Crobat is okay to die. Yeah, but Wab is like powerful AF though. True. That's why so I So I think that she could survive where Lufa would die. So you want Lufa in, wa Lufa out, Okay, in? Here's, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to concede to you that Lufa is a powerful Pokemon when it That's comes true. to actual statistical fighting bullshit. So I will say, let's bench Lufa because we will probably need her later, right? Well, I yeah. Well, I would also say, yes, I do love Crobat. I'm a strong Crobat stand. But we are already have poison and flying covered. Yeah. Well, that's the other thing is like we can bring wet ass Blussy <gasps> in. Blussy had a lucky egg. Mm-hmm. What, what? I saw it. A saint. <gasps> Lucky egg. This is like a really good. This is a real good, real good item. Just a real good item. What's this too? Also, real good. One time. Extra experience in battle. Holy shiitake mushrooms. Shit. We'll leave it on. We'll leave it on Wab for now because we need Wab. To we get can. Stronger. We can. We can swear. We're past the minute. We can say swears. Holy, holy, sh sh holy, holy cannoli. fucking sure balls. Holy cannoli. Look at it. It's a big lake and there's a crazy painter. Oh, okay. Never mind. A crazy gym trainer. Breeder. Mm. <laughs> Breeder I Max. I hate, I hate, Hello? I hate. 
<laughs> That's what and they I used to call me in college. Like, <laughs> I was going to say, I know that this came out like years ago and that wasn't like a common vernacular thing, but I do so much hate the use of the word like breeder for so many people. It's bad. Me. Yeah, no, no, it's, it's bad and gross. Slap the shit out of them. Slap the shit out of them. Oh my god. Wet ass Blissey just fucking just slapped him to death. Can't slap. I can you imagine you're like in this universe? And like assumedly, you know, people use Pokemon for self defense and stuff, and like Pokemon can like get violent with people. Sure. Can you imagine a Blissey just like coming out of the woods and just with those little what? arms and just <laughs> slapping the ever living shit out of you? <laughs> it would be so humiliating. But no, I mean we talked about this before. Where like living in the Pokemon world would be so goddamn terrifying. Why would anyone want to live there? There are bees the size of people. Yeah, that, that can are just violent. fucking. Fuck you up if they decide to. And like, we've seen in the first, what is it? The first episode of Pokemon or the second, one of the first couple episodes of Pokemon, they get chased by a swarm of Beedrills. So you know that those things yeah. will kill you. They will okay, fucking kill well, you. Okay, so, well, that's the other thing is it's not just, it's not just one bee the size of person. It's a whole bunch of bee yeah, the size of nests. person that are just like they got fucking whole nests in there. gunning it for you. Like they don't give a shit. Yeah, you're you are you are correct. It is bad. It would be it, so scary. It is not a good. It would not be a good place to be. Also, I guess there wasn't. I thought that last town had a gym in it, but I guess there wasn't one. So we're just we're continuing. Clibble. Slap the shit out of that gibble. Um, and she's probably ground side. And so now take all that fear for a swarm of bee drills and think of a swarm of blissy. A swarm of wet ass blissy charging at you through the underbrush. Grab a bucket and a mop. And then just slapping you can't do the anything else. shit out of you. You don't want it. Nobody wants to live there. Soft boil. Is that a healing move? Hell yeah. Hell yes. Look at Wab already learned a healing move for yep. itself that can Why? be used outside of battle. Hell yeah. It's just like free potions. Um, do we replace, maybe refresh? It's kind of what I'm looking at. Uh, yeah, we, uh, uh, it was tail whip. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Yeah, refresh is actually good because it clears status effects. Oh, right. You um, know what I'm doing? I'm looking at the, the YouTube the stream. stream. I, yeah, yeah, yeah I, I, mine. I switched out. Yeah. Bip, 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 That's okay. Bip, 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 That's bip, okay. Bip. Sorry, I got distracted. My child needed assistance. Are, are I they posted doing okay? a very I yeah, I posted a very cute picture of what she currently looks like in uh the Brew Crew gaming channel. I caught her like mid yawn, so it looks like she's just screaming. Good, good. So good. <laughs> oh shoot, I gotta make my character for the next the next adventure yeah i have to do that also as well i'm i'm basing it off of a character i've played in a one shot before though so like i have the basic build for it done i just have to actually level them up so. this is the first one i think where i have not had any idea what i'm gonna play oh really yeah i've just started pulling from like other characters that i've played in other campaigns which like i mean admittedly um, I did that for Liara because it's it's already been announced that like that's my main character. Yeah. Um Liara's yours. But she's uh she was a character that I played um in a home game for like two years and I, I loved her so much. She was so much fun to play. 
And then when COVID happened, um, our group broke up and, and we didn't get to play anymore. And now at this point, like everybody's uh, like between everybody in the group, like people have moved away. People aren't interested in playing anymore, but I loved that character so breeder much. Breeder Jacqueline. Man, there's a lot of breeders Ew. on this route. Stop it. Um. Uh, does, does Patrick's eyes always look like that? I was thinking the same thing. They're just, I think they're just really bright in this. Because in this, this looks like straight up, like this is a fucking Homelander ass Pokemon. I don't like it. It's super creepy. Yeah, Hate he's kind of got, he's kind of got a look going. He's got a look going. I don't like it. It's not good. Good evening, Fallen Leaf Prime. How Hello. are you doing? It is an evening, and it is a good one. Kill Hungry Grant. Hunky Grant, eat him. Oh my god, I thought for a second that you were, like, reading somebody's comments that was like, kill Hungy Gant, and I was like, no! <laughs> a Hungy Gant? Absolutely not! No! No, no, no. Hung Hungry Grant. Hungy needs Grant. Hungy Grant needs to live. <laughs> Slap him! Solo stream today. No, Danny. Yeah, uh, Fallen Leaf, this is my Thursday game stream, uh, which is done in conjecture with my Dungeons & Dragons uh, uh, show host, which is the Homebrew Network over on YouTube. So, of course, I'm playing with the ever-wonderful Renee from that, also the Caked Crusader here on Twitch. Um, so, yes, unfortunately, Feeling Danny... Feeling very sad. <laughs> Yeah. Danny so everyone's is, like, where uh, the fuck is Danny? And I'm like, I'm sorry. Danny is I'm kind of the reason Danny. the Twitch channel is where it is, okay? We all know. Um, but Danny is in a show. She's she's very busy, so she has not had time to, to take up streaming, unfortunately. Um, what was I going to do? Hey, Danny and I are just going to do a stream together. It's you should. Just gonna be, I'm like, sure you have a lot of. Oh games my god, we like. should do the cutest, coziest stream ever. Okay, I think I'm gonna teach. Is it? Do you think it's cool to teach uh, Wab extreme speed? One because I think it's hilarious thinking of Wab coming at you now yeah. with extreme speed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Also, yeah, yeah. it's a really, really strong normal move. And he has growl, so growl, growl. Is out. You're talking with DNP. I was just talking to my partner Kit through making their first character in 5e. Oh, uh, to go back cool. and have that opportunity again. That's so oh exciting. Oh my god. Yeah, it's so fun. Well, the the nice thing about like I mean, okay, so here's the thing that I really love about Dungeons and Dragons, right? Is it's no matter how many times you play it, no matter how many systems you play it on, it always feels like a new game. Because if you diversify the type of characters that you create, it's a completely different experience every single time that you play through it, which is just insane and so much fun. I was just about to ask what uh, what character they made, but then you said you sort of sold them on a paladin, which is really fun. I've actually never played a paladin. Uh, oh, I have I a paladin play planned for one of our upcoming origin games um as a one-shot character but i've never played like a long-form character that was a paladin i i do have one paladin character i didn't i i haven't played them in a campaign but i played them in a number of uh adventure guild and one shots um and they were just mm -hmm. a water deep traffic cop that was their whole bit <laughs> um and it was quite 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 fun Paladin is a good, a strong class that I very rarely have really dipped into, like, numbers base. Because I like doing builds with lots of numbers. Oh, we're fighting our friends. Hey, hold on. Is that a fucking Typhlosion? Mook. Yep. Typhlosion. And then a Psyduck. Psyduck. 
We are yep. ruined. Let's I think we up. got this one under control. You don't know that. Yeah, that's fallen. what you said. That's what you said when you got lucky. Rubber duck. Yo, fallen leaf. I I actually saw that today. I noticed that I had access to the echo fighter, and I was like, I don't think I've known. I looked at this one, and I actually didn't look at it yet. But it was on. I saw it today, literally today, when I was making this character, and I was like, oh, I need to look at. I need to read this. Is that from uh, Tasha's or? Maybe is or is Echo Fighter from um, um, Dragonlance? I don't think it's oh, from Oh, okay. Dude, Tasha's know. has got some fucking weird subclass things. I love Tasha's. Like, I, it's so fun. I, I love, I want to meet whoever wrote all the very snarky, passive-aggressive, like, add-ins in Tasha's. Like oh, all yeah. of like Actual yeah, it's Tasha's, so, Tasha's you're comments. so funny. Yes. Yeah. It's so funny. I was pl I played three point five for so long that went five years over a couple years. Oh yeah, I I mean I played three point five since it was when it was released. I played uh, third edition all the way through its lifespan, and then when fourth edition came out, I played that for a hot second and then went back to 3.5 and then when fifth came out, basically right when fifth came out, I was already on, on board for fifth. I played fifth a one shot that so was 3.5 and everything else that I've played has been 5e. 3.5 was really good. I, I am personally of the mind that fifth edition is the best Dungeon Dragons has ever been. Um, so the reason that I really, because I, even though that's the only, like, the the majority of experience that I have with playing, um, I've read about all of the other versions. Um, but 5e oh, seems like it allows this. for, like, the most, like, fun roleplay mechanic stuff. And that that's just, that's just my takeaway from it. Um, that's why I didn't look at I, like, it. It's a Mercer class. Critical role class. Oh, there you go. Um, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt your thought. Really. No, you're fine. I'm just like catching up on all of the all of the things. Um, I feel like I, with reading about all the other classes, I feel like 5e really kind of allows for more of like actual role play and character development rather than focusing on like game mechanics and like actual like combat and 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 other mechanic stuff like i don't know i just feel like it allows for a lot more flexibility when it comes to player experience um in um, regards I think... to character development rather than just, like, combat and, like, yeah. actual game mechanics. If that makes sense. I feel like I'm rambling. But... I don't I don't think that's rambling. I, I think... I, I know what I'm trying to say, but I don't know if I'm saying it correctly. No, I, I think you're correct because 3.5 3 was much more numbers heavy. Everything was mm. much more affected by... Yeah. Your stat bonuses, your save throw, your saving bonuses, etc, etc. And I thought... And especially with skills, skills were just... There were just too many. And you so know, I they did I'm having a realization right now, in this moment, um, that I think that it's indicative of, like, what the, like, prevalent gaming community and kind of, like, gaming experience is like... So, like, when 3.5 came out, that was, like, what, the 80s? D&D? I want to say. Yeah. No, way, way before that. It was, like, the 70s, late 70s, I think. 3.5? Really? Oh, 3.5? No, 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 no. 3.5 came yeah. out in 2000. In 2001. Oh, okay. So, I'm, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so, I I was going to say, like, no, wait, I know that, like, D&D, like, started being a thing in, like, the late 70s, early 80s, but, like, I couldn't remember exactly when the 3.5 came out. But, like, so we've, it, okay, so we, we've, seen, we've seen a shift in, like, the type of gameplay experiences that have been put forward, right? Where it's, like, 
in the early days of video games, it was just like very cut and dried, like run and shoot, sort of like whatever. And as video games have have evolved and became more involved, um, there's more of like a human experience and a human element that's been applied to them, even though, you know, saying that with quote unquote, because like you can play as different races or whatever. But I, I feel like maybe that's kind of like a thing is like as the idea of what gameplay experience can be has evolved and kind of expanded. Well, that's I, kind I, of influenced like video games and I think Fallen Leaf games. is exactly on the money. Um, so I I I view it as D and D was from its from its origins from Chainmail was in many ways needlessly complex. It was a very, very complex game that required balancing many types of um, character aspects. I mean, in original D&D, &D, you had to target, a, like, every body part had different AC. Yeah, yeah. You had to target specific body parts. And when uh, 3.5 came out, they had a man they'd finally managed to s to simplify it down a little bit but it was still holding on to this kind of idea of like character sheet dice running right. mathematics aspect of it and so then they did fourth edition and they're like well kids want video games let's just make a video game but make it on the table and so they made fourth edition which was kind of the opposite it was needlessly simplified um, and then I think they realized with 5th edition that's like, yes, the numbers and complexity is an original part of Dungeons & Dragons, but if you want Dungeons & Dragons to be approachable, you sort of have to sacrifice some of that. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's, um, I mean, like, I remember when I was in high school, like, uh, approach to play D&D, I think it was in, like, 2nd edition. And it was really off-putting because it was so much. Like, it was so overwhelming. Like, all the things that you needed to learn. And I just ended up not, not following through and not playing. But then, like, once, like... I, like I said, I played, I think, a campaign with 3.5. And then, like, once 5 came out, I was like, hell yeah. Hell yeah. And that that's where I found my sweet spot with it. And it was so much fun. We made it. Uh, yeah, made fourth edition it. was it was it was com complexified, but but I think it was com it was complex in a different way. Fallen, which I, I I agree with you. Um, I think it was it was complex because I mean it was literally just World of Warcraft, but tabletop. Every single character had a selection of square abilities that you just pushed in a ran in a rotation essentially every fight and and that's it didn't matter if you were a mage or a rogue or a fighter that's how you played you clicked your one through ten buttons you knew your rotation and profit mm -hmm. um but at the same time it was like it i i i do view that as a dumbing down of what the previous systems were there was no more character designing your character was essentially built for you you had one path up your character tree where you could have slight variations on your spells that you or whatever your skills that you got that level but for the most part you you were just following a b c d all the way up to the end until you were max level or whatever yeah um well and then and of I, course I, I, uh, I just oh, sorry, the last no, no no it was okay the last part was just the complexity compared to the previous editions is fourth edition was all about using a grid and using minis so every ability had some aspect of, and you move this square right north, south two, five square f south, you know, like, so that was really where the complexity came in. Um, but I thought overall the character builds was horrifically simplified. That was it. That was my rant. It was good. It was great.
yeah, I played fourth edition for like with a group of people. We played for like t three weeks, and then we're like, hey, "You guys want to play third three point five again?" I was like, "Yeah," and we just went right back three point five. Please. I do think too that there's something to like the. I don't want to say accessibility, but maybe like the kind of like. can't think of the word for it customization maybe of 5e <clears throat> where you can just like i and again i haven't really like had that many experiences with like previous uh versions of DD, <gasps> but like with 5e it is just like with the kind of different mechanics and stuff in 5e, like any character that you can think of, you can make. Do you want in Grant some way, shape, or form or mechanically? Um, what are we fighting? <clears throat> uh, we're fighting a Sawsbuck and a Dustox. So plants. What's good against plants? Uh, Doctor Grant would be. I would say Dr. Grant then, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, well, 5th edition did a good thing where they took a look at 3.5. They pared down a lot of stuff mechanically from 3.5. They rebalanced Spellcraft, which was a huge thing. And then the most important thing is they said, you know, let's just kind of let the DMs decide. Right, right. <laughs> let the DM, I sure, mean, yeah. per the DM yeah, rule, that's... whatever you want. Like, I <clears throat> mean, so as, as because I don't, I, I mean, I don't DM any games for like homebrew or anything, but I've almost exclusively DM'd for all of my like friend group games um and the thing that I always try to tell my players when I'm DMing is that as a DM I am there to facilitate and not dictate like it's a game you guys are supposed to have fun there are certain rules that we have to adhere to but if you tell me what exactly it is that you want to do and that you're trying to do, we can sit down and we can look at the game mechanics and we can figure out a way to make what you want to do work. You know? Like, I, I hate the idea of a DM... Because I've played in games with DMs where they're just like, very hard line, like, no, the rules is written are the rules is written... Fuck that. Like, and, and, and it's not been fun to play. Oh. Oh my god. This is a new route. Mantike's so cute. Well, roll Wait, the do dice we need to roll? Roll oh the dice god, and oh see god, who's oh going to get what do, you want? what do you want? What do you I'll want? I'll let you, what do you pick. Want? You pick first. I'm going to go odds. I'm going to say odds. Roll it up. We got so distracted with <laughs> DD talk. It's 11! Give me that man tyke. All right. So there you go. Uh, I think 3.5 offered more flexibility of uh, 5E. Where else available are traps? That's, well, uh, yeah, Fallen. 3.5 is disgustingly unbalanced. Yes, yes. And by that, I mean mages are, wizards are too strong. <laughs> magic is too strong. Um, yeah, magic was straight up busted in most mm -hmm. cases god a lot fucking but, level and 20 I, I mean i mean to be fair in real life if magic existed that would be the most realistic like accurate thing yeah that's i mean like yeah in a way <laughs> sure yeah you're correct you're correct you can't say you're wrong um i always view it more Were you like wrong I know, I no, I, I'm saying you're not wrong. You're definitely not Her wrong. Her sister was a witch, bro. I'm saying that in um I would view it more as like nowadays, at least fighters are like a max level fighter next to a max level wizard. A max level fighter is like 
guts from Berserk, the anime manga. Like, yes. it doesn't matter how many times he just got a big old slab of iron and you can cut a demon god in half. Like, yes. you don't need to think about it. That's all you need to know. <clears throat> Whereas in the old days, it was like, what's that? The wizard just cast a spell that turned them into a level 20 fighter? All right, fun. <laughs> really fun. Wow, glad I picked this class. <clears throat> The feet trees. Spaztastic. Yeah, feats took a, a major step back um, in this edition for sure. Which I think is kind of to Fallen's point, which is that a lot of options were traps. There were just so many feats in 3.5 and 3.0 that were just absolute shit. And it's like, why would you ever use it? So they, they got rid of a lot of those. Headbutt. Don't headbutt. Oh, wait. What am I doing? This is my Pokemon. I gotta pay yeah. attention. Good thing I didn't kill it. Um, <laughs> really? Drowsy goes oh, in wait, the dream that's ball. a that's a that's a question. If you do accidentally uh, knock out the Pokemon when it's on your turn, do you just have to skip that Pokemon, or do you get to do the in next theory? One? Yeah, you're supposed to just you're supposed to just lose. Well, it no, I it. don't like that. Yeah, that's why I turned up the catch rate, like, so I don't usually even have to fight him. I can usually just throw a Pokeball at him. Oh, shoot, I also gotta find... I gotta give Man... I'm sorry, Mantike... I didn't give a nickname, so I'll have oh. to fix that. Um, Drowsy. This is Sleepy Grant. I'm just gonna go with the theme from now on. Sleepy Grant. Hungy Grant, Sleepy Grant, Dr. Grant. I wanted to go up here, though. Was I supposed to go this way? I wish I could get off it my roller skates. No. You don't get to get off your roller skates. I wish I could just get off my roller skates and walk. Nope. Up nope. Oh, you found a dome fossil. That's we have so many fossils at this point because of the random we items. We do. We do. <laughs> Uh, I don't even know where you get them turned into Pokemon. Come I think on. it's here, right? Isn't there a facility in this area? I, I couldn't tell you. I couldn't remember. Okay, well, that was a waste of time. Oh, never mind. There was, there was a trainer here. Look at, speaking of Mantike, this person's got one, and we're going to kill it. It up. Kick its ass, Wab. We're gonna cover it in acid. Some wet acid pussy. God, Wab is so thick. With like four C's, right? Yeah, oh yeah. Endless C's. Endless C's. Greater Cleave. Yes, Baz, Cleave was real fun. Playing as like a freaking barbarian. Wait, is Cleave the the dynamic where if you like? Shh. I'm trying to remember because I have a homebrew rule where if you really hit, if you have like if you're that is needed to take them down to zero. But then the remaining damage is like transferred over to. Oh, <clears throat> that's an interesting home rule. Is everyone gonna be Grant um, type? Yes. Cleave, yes. From now on, all of my Pokemon are Grant type. I'm gonna have a full team of Grants for the Elite Four fight. Um, Amy, in hindsight, all of us are Grant type. Burning a. Eh, yeah, time. in the old, uh, in the older editions, obviously, uh, Cleave was much more mechanical in how many dice you got to roll against a second yeah. a second target or what percentage of the damage would be transferred do you want wab to learn minimize which just boosts evasiveness no okay good we don't need that she's shit. wet ass blussy yeah she's yeah blissy's not gonna fucking as hell and she's not gonna minimize herself she's gonna get bigger no like yeah she's gonna make herself more known and intimidating 
Yeah, I'm I'm curious to see what they do with D&D. &D what? Um I I am optimistic in the sense of like where rules have been going and what I've seen about the classes, it's very much the same as what D&D &D 5e was, just right. looked to be more focus on balancing classes and making classes all kind of on a level playing field. But also, Wizards of the Coast's greedy, greedy fucking corporation. And I could absolutely, and they've already had problems with this restricting um, homebrew content. Mm -hmm. or, uh, and so I could see them really messing up in that regard. Which would be sad. Right, right, yeah. Um, uh. Echo Knight. So Fallen Leaf, I'm actually going to read this. So uh, Echo Knight allows you to do hilarious nonsense with the Sentinel feet. Great feet. Allows you to make attacks of opportunities for your Echo Image projection, which stop enemy movement. Oh, okay. I, now I've finally started, and by finally I mean literally in the last week, I've started watching Vox Ex Machina. And oh. it's it's very it's funny. Like I'm I'm enjoying it's it. It's fun. But uh, I'm I... not a huge fan of the critical role content as far as Dungeons and Dragons is concerned. I am not a big fan of the Blood Hunter. We're gonna <laughs> fight. We're gonna fist fight. The Blood other Hunter the is just not balanced. It is not a balanced class. It's well, very no. extra. And that's why okay, so can I interject? Yes, you may interject. Bit. Okay. There's no so need to interject, the, you may speak. Okay, um, so the unbalancedness of the Blood Hunter class um was addressed by the fact that like so going into campaign two, that's what Talison was playing, right? His character was a Blood Hunter class. And from what I've read and from what I understand, he kind of also got really frustrated with how, like, unbalanced it was. And the decision was made to shift his character from a Blood Hunter class to another class. Well, yeah. No, no, no. So this, this is the problem, though, with... I shouldn't say it's a problem because it's not Mercer's fault, but it was Thing very is clear. Ever Matthew Mercer's fault. Very ever. few things He's are, perfect. but it was very clear that Mercer made this class. He envisioned this class, and the people at Wizards of the Coast just said, "Well, yeah, Critical Role makes us money. Absolutely, great. It's published." Instead of going, "Wow, Matt, that's an awesome idea. Here's our." Hungy Grant is dead. <gasps> Moment of silence for Hungy Grant. Okay. I'm going to finish what I was saying, though. Hungy Grant was not, like, the biggest loss of my, my, on my team, so... Um, Speak for yourself! So, they, instead of working with him to make a good balanced class they just took what he had written and were like yep great that's a wrap print it out yeah i don't have any problem with his like world lore stuff or his book the books they release you know but mm -hmm. that that just rubs me the wrong way i'm like build yeah. it to the system don't just publish it because matthew mercer's po is popular yeah <laughs> hungry grant no i guess sleepy Grant's hungry coming in. grant Sleepy Grant. I miss Hungy Grant though. He was so cute. Uh, is it alright if I put in um, Charmosaur? I mean, I feel like really what happened was like I I think Matt and if I remember correctly, Talison were the ones who were kind of like developing the whole like Blood Hunter thing, and. They put it out, they had, like, a very tentative, like, this is kind of what we're working with sort of build for that class. And then after Molly Mock was introduced as a, as a player, they were like, 
oh no, we have to like push this out as a thing. And it just, it, they didn't do any That's... like, yeah, Fallen, they didn't think about Fallen it. is exactly they, right. They didn't yeah. even UA it, which like, I don't think Ooh. Unearth Arcana is the, honestly, I don't think it's like the best system, but it's better than, it's better than nothing. Yeah. I do not want to learn self-destruct, please. <laughs> No! Um, Why? That That's the worst. The, the worst. worst move. <sighs> Damn it. I got all cocky because Wab is so strong, and I was just like, man, oh, we're overpowered yeah. for all these things. And now look at No it. one is immune from the wet ass bussy. We're going to switch in Charmasaur. Okay. Got literally worshipped for four years. The Lore Master Wizard versus the Order of Sc Yeah. Yep, it was it was just very clear oh, to me. Oh, so, shit! We so have then, Jeff the Talking Fucking Mongoose versus my boy Charmasar. Well, yeah, he's dead, though. It wasn't even a real no. fight. Oh, I thought you were talking about my boy. I was so sad. Person. Oh, no, no. Charmasaur's... He's good. I was like, Char no! Charmasaur, stop Charmasaur's it! Charmasaur's in a good place. Huh, huh. I'm jumping across these rocks. Huh. Great. Huh. 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 It's a huh. puzzle, everybody. Huh. 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 And then I jump on... Wait, this one? No. Wait, it's a Wait, puzzle. I can figure this out. I'm trying to get... I don't know. Yeah, to that go item. there. Oh, wait. Where are you trying to get to? Wait, hold on. I'm trying to get to this item over here. No, go... Yeah, I was going to say go up there and Whoa. then just, like, pop across. Yeah, wait. It's it's this one right here. It's literally that Come one. On. Yeah. I'm. It's, it's hard cute, when cute, I can't cute. take my roller skates off. You got a great ball. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. If I if I played Wizards Fallen Leaf, it would be a wizard class I would definitely look into. I I've never played a wizard. Not because I have anything against wizards. I just hate keeping track of spells. And I played an artificer in one of my last games yeah. and I found it to be very, very difficult compared to the rogue, which I usually play. Yeah. Oh my god. Don't fight me. <gasps> the fossil lab. We have so many fossils. We do. We have so, <laughs> we have many, so many fossils. Step one. Learn every wizard spell. What do you mean? Step two. I have unlimited. Yep. I mean, yeah. Order of the Scribe is pretty strong. If you just learning every spell. Mm -hmm. Or having the capability to learn so many spells. <sighs> Dang it. Goodbye, Hungy Grant. Say hello to... Um, I can't even remember her name anymore. Who died? Jack did? Rub rubber Ducky. Wait, you're bringing Rubber Ducky back from the dead? No, I couldn't remember Rubber Ducky's name. Rubber Ducky. It's Rubber Ducky. Can I move you? Okay. Let me look at, let's look at this. Let's look at this team for a second. I gotta psych. I gotta actually now things. I've already lost somebody to an actual super effective move. I gotta look at some Pokemon types, type charts here, and make sure I'm not stupid all the time, like usual. <clears throat> because if we have a psychic, um, so that's gonna cover fighting. Fighting is a problem for us because we got rock, rock, normal. And another fighting, but he'll be dark eventually, and that will also be okay. So yeah, we'll take we'll take Sleepy Grant. Sleepy Grant's not bad. Put him over here. Look at how many you have five Pokemon, and I only have three Pokemon left. I should have six Pokemon. <laughs> you should have six. But something happened. We'll never know what. But Maxen! something happened to one of them. <gasps> now there's only these ones. I've honestly only just rolled good at like the random ones. All right. We got to give you the lucky egg. Sleepy Grant. Yeah, you do. Sleep sleepy Grant, you're so sleepy. 
Grant sounds like it should be a, Bra uh, a Brian David Gilbert bit. <laughs> Sleepy Grant. This is yeah. my cousin, Sleepy Grant. Yeah, exactly. It's like, oh, no. Hi. Hotel. Okay, no, I don't want to be here. All right, we got to find this fossil thing because we got fossils to revive. And by fo I mean, like, we have, like, maybe four or five of them. We have so many. Of Why do we have so many of them? I don't know. We It's random items. We just keep finding them on the ground. I know it's random, but this is insane. <laughs> Where is, it? is it down Coast. here? I, I, is it on the I, beach? I don't I feel like don't it's, think it's on I don't the think beach. it's going to be I think it's back up on the cliffs. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Look at all these rocks. How I can't are around. you roller skating in the sand? Don't ask questions. I don't think you can skate in the sand. I, I've mastered my roller skate. I, I've been forced mm. to wear these roller skates for so long. I've mastered the art of skating on sand. Okay, wait, is it this building? What is this? Fossil yeah. land. We restore yeah, Pokemon we fossils. Go. That's Yay. all you need to know. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. Oh, there's a Cubone skull. No. So sad. What do you want? If you have a Pokemon called yep. Genesect, yeah, if I get Genesect, I'll let you know. Hi. Oh, yeah. Okay, please tell me we're able to actually revive the fossils now and not have to wait. Well, computer archaeologist, you were drawn here by some bullshit. So you're Professor Sycamore students. I've heard about you, Mega. <laughs> you want us to talk about I'm sorry, but all that I know that is, is I'm sorry. Is still your students are professors, so you know about Pokemon fossils, correct? Yeah, I you do, you dummy. Wonderful. I expect no less, right? Fossils deluxe. See Prestar Pokemon Easter egg. Is he really drunk? <laughs> I can't try to figure him out. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Hold on, Pokemon Computer. Clear cave guy. So I know about that. You want a glittering cave? I don't give a fuck. I don't fucking know. No, I have to go to glittering cave before I can revive the fossils. Son of a bitch. Hmm. Okay. Um. So is there like? Well, let's go check this hotel out real quick. Our it's stream isn't going to go for much longer, so I don't know if... I yeah, I was going to say. The gym. I wanted to fight a gym leader, you know, do the whole gym thing. Hi, who well, are you? Well, the second gym leader is named Grant, which I wanted to fight Grant. I know, we're trying to find Grant. I can't find him. I've been looking everywhere for Grant. Hi, I like your suit. Oh, you. He's the <laughs> expert o on powers. O powers. Okay. Didn't they make this joke in the last stream? Good things will happen if you use your O powers. I think we made this joke in the last stream. But we can still it's make it again. Bonding it's still time. Funny. <clears throat> Is that what we're calling okay, it now? Bye. Alright, that's fine. Bye. <laughs> bye, sir. I'm a child. I don't know how the old any of this was. Okay, we're just gonna like run back out. It's like totally fine. <gasps> tail whip. You Holy tail shit! Whip? Why is tail whip a TM? I don't know. Fuck that, <laughs> you asshole. Can we that's, sell it? That's the most insulting thing I think you could ever give to somebody in the Pokemon universe. <clears throat> A Pokemon with speed of 120. We don't have any Pokemon like that. I got a really fun character that's tabled while we try to get the campaign going. A Goblin Ranger using the Druidic Warrior fighting style <clears throat> and the Fey Wanderer subclass. I have a Fey Wanderer in my yes! current uh, adventure. Fey Wanderer is a great, great subclass. It's uh, a fun subclass. I love it. What's... Druidic Warrior, that's the one that is like, it gives the ranger a bunch of extra druid spells, right? Yeah. I think so. Oh! We got to ride right hordes in this one! Oh, uh, I think this is <laughs> I think this is technically a route because I think we'll run into Pokemon while doing this. 
Come I on, think you're Ryan. right. Let's go. <laughs> Boom. Fuck the rock up. Oh. All right, roll the dice. Oh, God. Oh, my God. It's a cherim. All right, what do you want to call? Um, I'm going to stick with... I'm going to stick with... Wait, you took odds last time. I'm going to do even. It's a four. <clears throat> All right, so I get cherim. Do you know what, Sharon? It's fine. It's whatever. Oh my god. Uh, okay. Uh, I get to be a charismatic ranger who lies, steals, and hits things with a magic stick because you get shillelagh. I see. Yeah, shillelagh's a pretty good Shillelagh. Shillelagh would be a better move if you didn't have to. Um, if like it was, I wish it was kind. I wish it was like mage armor, where it's like you cast it and it's like eight hours. <clears throat> Although not many spells are like that, more like eight hours. But that's what I wish. I hey, wish you could was always just a like. Thing. You could always like homebrew it into. Well, if I was going to homebrew it, I would give Shillelagh specifically to Druids as a Druid-centric ability, because it's really one of their most unique spells. Wait, is it not? I mean, it is on the Druid spell list, yeah, but I mean, like, you know, we're talking about, like, uh, the Druid Warrior Ranger also gets Right, it. right, 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 right. Okay, okay, okay. Um, which I think I would rather okay. keep it to be just... I would make it like the Hexblade weapon. Where it's like right, you right. pick this one wooden weapon and that's your shillelagh until you pick another one. Which lets you roll wisdom saving throws. Right. Well. But whatever. Okay. It's not a huge deal. That's just a small thing. That's fine. As somebody who who might be playing a druid very soon, um, working on my classes, my different characters, that's what I that's what I'm thinking. Cherim, um sweet. Sweet Grant. Sweet Grant. <laughs> they call him Sweet Grant. <laughs> good, good. Uh, yeah. Did you see the Z Basha video about Shillelagh? I have not. I have no, not seen what? this. All right, come on. Come on, Rhyhorn. This is not... Okay. All right, Rhyhorn. Well, we're doing our best. All right, here you go. Oh, it's a Cherim. This is not yours. So we don't do doubles in this household. So we're just going to headbutt him to death. Me. A wisdom, a druidic Ash. warrior ranger. Me. Yeah, Spaz, it is a minute, which is fine. But a minute is not even like let's let's look at I mean most of the time, ninety nine point nine percent of the time, that's a whole fight. But that's kind of one of my points is like it's just make it eight hours. Like you're just making me cast it every fight. Basically, just because. When if you're a, a, a when if you are a druid who is using Shillelagh, if you are actually a druid who's trying to be melee which many people have asked for, mind you, for many, many years. Um, if you're a melee druid, you're gonna be casting Shillelagh every time. It's a small thing. It's a small optimization thing. This is your boy. Here he is. You get a pincer. Are you excited? Me? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yes. He's huggable. But I don't get to catch him, right? No, this is yours. This is it. Really? Yeah. Yeah, catch him, catch him, catch him, catch him. Yeah, you're getting a pincer. That's what I'm saying. Give me my boy. Give um, me my boy. I don't know if I can. Oh, God. Rap might be problematic. Just get caught in the Pokeball. Yeah. All right. Think of your pincer, your pincer nickname. Earl. 
Sleepy Grant wants to learn poison gas. Oh no. <laughs> no, we're gonna keep hypnosis. Oops. Keep the old moves. Do not learn poison gas. Alright, Renee. Who's this? Daryl. I've already told you. Daryl. Oh, I didn't hear it. Daryl. How do you spell Daryl? D E R Y L? Day. D. Day. D E. Or D A R Y L. D A. Daryl. Daryl. I love him. This he's is so Daryl. He's got a pinchy head. This is Daryl. He's good at pinching and I love him. He's the best. Around. No one's ever going to keep him down. Ain't nobody oh. going to hold him down. Oh, no. He's got to keep on moving. Oh, hold on one second. What's happening? Hold on one second. Got to make sure I can move this so I can save it. How do I personalize my task bar? Uh-oh. Oh, wait. Oh, uh, uh, uh. Wait. There it is. Got it. I just realized I haven't saved state in a while. All right. Come on. We'll get through this, this cave area, and then it'll probably be it for the stream. I was going to say, it's like almost 940. Let me off of this raw horn. Gotta say, this whole rye horn section is pretty stupid. I'm glad that they don't do this anymore and instead give you cool Pokemon to ride. Be dumb. Yes, yes. Rye horn's yes, actually a great yes. Pokemon to ride. <gasps> uh, I could have had uh. a Saviper! Oh, Where's is that how you boy? pronounce it? That's Wait, my... is this your, like, favorite Pokemon? That's my boy! That's him! He's right there! That's the boy! Ugh. We're running away. I can't... I can't strike him down. No! <gasps> oh! Oh! But he's gonna strike you! Holy no. shit! He just... Throw dumped away. your boy! Run away! Switch in. Switch in the rock. I can't risk uh, him not being able to run away again. No! Run away! <laughs> yeah, run away! Oh my god! My boy! My Run boy! Away. I'm trying. Let me leave! Damn, he is just not letting us go. I might have Survivor. to strike him. I might have to strike Survivor. him down! What the fuck? <laughs> well, you know, do we still have Crobat in? Uh, <laughs> no. Do we not still have Crobat in? Uh, goodbye, sweet prince. Good night. Rest yeah, he's well. he's fine. Get fucked. Dream. Dream Survivor. well. No. Get <laughs> oh, my boy. Get my boy. Look what they did to my boy. Yeah, so Viper is my favorite Pokemon. I really like Zerua. I I, I kind of cheat and say, like, the new uh, the Arceus Zerua is my favorite, but Viper is actually my favorite. All this motherfucker. Can we just run? I'm trying. We've already fought it. I'm trying to run. Nobody's letting can't us get run. away! What the shit? Nobody's I, letting us leave. A sleepy Grant's nose is so silly. <laughs> He's just... <laughs> it's very silly. I love it. Yeah, Drowsy is kind of a goofy, goofy looking Pokemon. He's a silly boy. Okay, well, if you won't let us run away, <clears throat> I'm just going to let Dr. Grant destroy you. <laughs> just free me. Free me from this prison. First, you take away Hungy Grant, and then you taunt me with Saviper that I can't catch. <clears throat> good day, sir. I said good day. Yay. OK. 
Okay. <laughs> we made it. All right. Um, this is probably a good place to just to just stop here. I think there's a Pokemon yeah. somewhere up here, but there's more battles. So. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, but we can just save state it, and it's fine. Yeah, it's already saved. It's already and it's already yeah, 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 yeah. It's already save statted. Well, shit. Yep. All right, everybody. That was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. Thank you so much for like coming and hanging out. If you did, and if you're watching this at another time, thanks for watching. Um, be sure to come check us out for all this good D&D &D talk. Thank you so much for talking D&D. &D. We could literally do it forever and make a whole... It's almost like we could make a whole show about it, about D&D, &D, and then play D&D &D on it. And that's what we already did. So you should come by on Mondays at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time or 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and check out the World Weavers. We're also available on all your podcast apps under the Homebrew Network. The World Weavers is one of many shows, um, one of many Dungeons & Dragons live plays, but we have so much fun playing Dungeons & Dragons and talking Dungeons & Dragons and having a good time. And things are going to get real exciting this year because we're actually going to get into like the main story and stuff's going to get wild. <laughs> you know? Yeah, of course. <clears throat> so, anyway, my name has been Max. With my wife, Danny. occasionally we stream and we're called We Are Backseat Gaming, but my wife is very busy right now, and so I just stream with my good friend, Renee. And Renee, you Hello. come and, and pitch your stuff. Uh, you can find me on Twitch at The Caked Crusader. It's a stupid mm -hmm. Batman pun, so it's T H E. C A K E D C R U S A D E R. Um, and it's in the title on Twitch as well. It's in the title or down below. Um, but you can also find me uh, with Maxton on uh, World Weavers. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. On the World Weavers, or no, not. <laughs> Hang on. Uh, also on, on the, the World Weavers. Uh, on the World Weavers. The World Weavers also on the World Weavers. Uh, the Homebrew uh, YouTube channel. Yeah. So, so that's it, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in to our Nuzlocke stream. We're going to keep powering through it. We're powering through this Pokemon. We're here every Thursday, one, same time, 4 p.m. One Eastern. more thing. Um, if you're Pacific. watching us on Twitch, um, please join us on the Discord channel for the Homebrew it's an amazing, oh, yeah. it's an amazing group. We have such a good time. I'll so set come that up. I'll, out. I'll post that if you want to, if you, anybody wants to join, I'll, I'll drop a post in the chat. But anyways, everybody, it's been such a pleasure. Thank you so much for hanging out. And I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful evening and a wonderful weekend. So this has been Max and Renee. We'll tune in. We'll uh, see you next week, 4 p.m. Uh, uh, Pacific Standard Time, 7 p.m. Eastern on Thursdays. So have a good weekend. Bye. Bye-bye. Goodbye. 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 Hey.